Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another interloper video. The first interloper video that I have after the uh, Far Range expansion came out where I'm doing a normal interloper spawn. Now for the most part this is the same as any other interloper video that I have and if you're new to the channel you're welcome to check those videos out. But of course there is one major change with the DLC which is that the loot system has now changed. So there are some new items to find here and there and things like tools are not to be found in the expected areas. So you need to look more closely to figure out where they are. Uh, there probably is some patterns to this loot that uh, is yet to be discovered. And there is also an element of randomness. So that meant that in this playthrough, I spent a lot more time than usual looking around, trying to find tools in order to set up uh, a forge run. However, once I had the tools, the rest of the run became more or less normal. And it's about just getting uh, the bowl made as soon as possible. Quite a few interesting things happened in this video. I went to Desolation Point to Forge, which I very rarely do in my videos. I uh, had an encounter with a bear and, and a stress pistol. And I also met Scruffy, which Scruffy has actually not been featured in any of my videos before, despite me mentioning him him a lot. He is the one who is in the Desolation Point cave. So this was quite a, a, a fun a run to do and I hope you enjoy playing it with me. I do explain everything I'm doing and try to make it into a walkthrough but of course there are some things that are new to me so this is more of a playthrough than a walkthrough I would say. In any case I hope you enjoy this journey from spawn to bow with the new loot tables on Interloper. Let's get to it. Hello fellow survivors, Zach here with another video. Today we're going to go back to Interloper but do a normal Interloper run of sorts because I haven't really explored the new area uh, or rather the new loot in the old area. That's something we should do. So we're going to hop into survival here and then what we're going to do is we're going to start a new Interloper run. So I did an Interloper run earlier where I spawned in Broken Railroad and then headed to Forsaken Airfield. And I also did another one on stream where I spawned in Forsaken Airfield. So that's great. I know the new area quite well now. I think it's great. But I haven't really had a look at the old world. Now, there isn't much change in sort of terrain or anything in the old Great Bear. But of course, they changed the loot. So now where you go and find things will be different. So I wanted to hop into an interlope run, see how it goes and see if we can get going. So this will be kind of like a walkthrough in the sense that I'll explain what I'm doing and I'll guide you through the interloper process. But of course I have no clue where any of the loot is because they probably changed it. I do have a suspicion though that some of the loot will be the same place as before. Some matches, some stims. But I think things like tools and stuff will be changed and it'll be interesting to see where they are found. So this is kind of like a semi-blind run where I know the maps, I know the locations, I know what I'm looking for and I know what to do, but I don't know where things are. Now to be fair, in the past I didn't know where things were either. I didn't, I never memorized the loot tables or anything, but I still had a general idea of where things were to be found, so that did help. Now I don't really do it. So why don't we hop in, do a normal interloper run, see how it goes and also see what we find. And let's just enjoy the run. Let's hop in. And we'll do Astrid. And I always go for the same two feet here. I go for Snowwalker for running more. And I go for Cold Fusion. And we'll call this uh, First Lope Bear. And let's just see where we are. Let's see how I get on. And let's see what we find. Now this is recorded before the wildlife refresh. That happens later in it. This is recorded just after, uh, about a week after the uh, expansion came out. So the loot refresh has happened. I don't know what things are, but animals and stuff are about the same. All right, let's see what we got here. We have, oh, of course, there's new spawn locations too. This looks like it's Pleasant Valley. Oh yeah, it is Pleasant Valley, I was going to say. It looks like, it's, it's, I think this is not far from Three Strikes, or is this near the cave? I 
Right. This is interesting. You can spawn here. Okay, I know where I am. The farm is down there. Uh, we actually spawn here right outside this cave. This is forest cave. How interesting that we would spawn right next to a cave. But well, we'll check that out. I want to head to the farm and whatnot. The sun is coming up, so we got light. There's the forest cave. Let's see what we got in here. I'm gonna have to re-loot everything and check everything because we don't really know where loot is anymore. I'm gonna have to check stuff. I am a bit tempted to go to Signal Hill though before I go to the farm because Signal Hill is kind of like uh, not a detour, but you have to go kind of like around to do it. So I think I'm gonna go to Signal Hill before I go to the farm. Normally, you'd always go to the farm first. If you spawn in Pleasant Valley, you beeline for the farm, go straight to the farm. Maybe you go via the plane crash if you want to, but you head for the farm because the farm has guaranteed matches in the basement. Of course, now that's not necessarily the case. Um, so there isn't any point in going by that sort of strategy. Instead, the strategy is to go to whichever location is likely to have loot, whatever that may be, which is presumably things like Signal Hill. So we're going to go to Signal Hill. I don't really know much about existing loot and what to be found. I haven't played Interloper uh, in, in normal Great Bear since it came out, except I did very quickly visit the summit on a run. And I know that there is a, a fire striker there. And what's the other thing? Well, your crampons. That's about the extent of what I know. All right, let's check everything. We got Tinder here. Baldines. I don't want to get um, frostbite, but I think that should be okay. Yeah, we're not frostbite risk yet. So I'm going to grab all these. Oh, we got moose markings. So this is where the moose is going to spawn, then, in Pleasant Valley. I'm going to grab these. I don't have fire yet, so I need stones to deter wolves if it comes to it. I'm grab these for food. And also for tinder. Oh, here comes the frostbite risk. We should be alright, though, I think. I was going to grab these. Hey, look at that, a corpse. I don't think that used to be there. That's the thing, they changed where things spawn, but they have also added little things. Because when I went to Forsaken Airfield the first time, um, there were some metal containers and things that I'm pretty sure were not there before. Alright, let's uh, keep going. We won't kill the rabbits. Not yet, anyway. I think we should be fine getting to um, Signal Hill without getting frostbite. There is a wolf that patrols the area, so we have to be a little bit careful. The moose is not out, but that's to be expected. Grab this. Let's head to Signal Hill. Uh, how far along? Uh, I'm not sure which one to go to. Maybe Hilltop Cave as well. Mm. I'm not sure. It's over there. Hilltop Cave used to have a guaranteed salted crackers. Oh, I missed that. You'd always find a book and salted crackers there. But now, of course, that probably is different. How we probably could do it actually depends a bit on the wolf, though. Is there a wolf around? I think we can do it. It's, it's not that much of a detour. Get fr if we're too high frostbite, we'll just go inside the cave. Looks like there's a doe over there. The stones are for wolf defense. We can just throw them at the wolf without aiming. And they will get uh, scared off. Yeah, we should be fine to loot this, I think, and then head to uh, Signal Hill, I think. We're gonna do that. Let's see what we can find here. Might use the rabbits as a shield. I think we'll leave the mushrooms for now because we don't need that many, and I don't want to loot them while I'm. Uh, Cold. Nothing in here. Nothing in the hunt is blind. 
Let's check over here. Uh, deer carcass and corpse. There's a wolf down there too. I'm going to use the rabbit for defense against the wolf. Let's grab these stones. And seal top cave. So here there used to be crackers. There used to be a book. But now there is... Well, there's something. There's a backpack. And some sardines. Oh, looks like there was a double loot bitch there. I think we can make it to hilltop before getting frostbite. Right, let's see if we can get this rabbit here. To act as our shield. He's going to protect us from the wolf. The wolf will go for the rabbit instead if he gets too close. Yeah, okay, wolf is no longer an issue. He's too far away. And there shouldn't be another wolf here. Okay, let's see. How far am I from frostbite? It'll be fine. We're like almost halfway. Okay, so minor loot in there. Let's see what we got in Signal Hill. A place that, in my opinion, one of the underrated places of loot. Tend to get really good stuff there. You tend to get uh, things like combat pants, uh, wool toque, coffee, matches sometimes, you know. On lower difficulties, you can find a stim there. You can find insulated boots. You know, there's all sorts of things to be found there. But now all the changes, who knows what there is. But I think on interloper... They most likely will still have loot tables, or at least an element of loot tables. Maybe some random factors and some loot tables. This is kind of interesting in the sense that the way I'm playing uh, Interloper here is more or less how I, I normally would do it. Except that the knowledge of where things are have been removed. So I think that some of the loot that I was before will still be there. Especially thing like technical backpack and so on. But then the rest of it has been changed. And I just need to figure out where they are. But for the most part, we're going to be checking mostly the same places as before. Okay, let's get inside. Hopefully we'll be warm. We are warm. Nice. So this should reduce this a bit. All right, so let's the looting begin. Let's look around closely because now this undoubtedly has changed. Uh, we need to find any kind of light source. Priva will be good. We have mittens. That's have good. I should take care of that. Frostbite. Dog food. Uh, I'm going to take a bit more time than I normally do to loot these areas now because I need to check everything. Coffee is here still, I see. We'll check that later. Public box. I wonder though if this has something in it. No. Okay, how about here? Check the corners and stuff first. Hey, the flare. This stuff will come in handy. That's still there. Wood. And here we got nothing. And here I don't see anything either. Okay. I, I, the cabinets will probably have just random loot as usual, but we're still going to check all of it for whatever we can find. All right, let's see what's in the other room then. So in here we got coffee. There you, that's this. great. So this is still here, and we got food, which is also something that used to be here. Uh, Tinder, why are we doing? A big fine with them. There. Anything under? No, under here then. Okay, we got a plastic container. Nothing in it. On the bed, nothing. Hey, combat boots. I'll take it. Yeah, for sure you take it. Much better. Very good boots. All right, and then locker. 
Hey, we'll start. That should actually take care of our frostbite. I believe. Because that's... Yeah. Oops. Uh, so I think that's it, actually. I don't see anything else. Let me look around and see if there's anything obvious missing. I think so. Sometimes when you look at stuff again, you notice stuff you didn't see before. So that's a good way to solve problems as well. Uh, which is to, if you can't solve a problem or you're stuck, you take a break from it and you come back. Then you try and solve the problem again. And usually you do better. I don't think there is anything. Okay. Okay. Let's sleep here for like an hour just to warm up. Whoa. That was a bug there. The, like the sun was uh, not where it was supposed to be. Okay, hypothermia risk healed. We're warmer now. This is gonna go down because we also have cover. I think now we should make a run for the farm. Let's see, what we got there. We don't have matches yet, but we have a flare, and that's good enough because the flare will allow us to start a fire and then carry torches. So that's good enough. Let's make a run down to the farm here. This is like a very common shortcut. Very, very easy. You can always use it. It has like no, no real risk at all. There can be a bear on the right here. Don't see him right now though. Uh, no. Then there was actually one thing I heard about, which is that in the barn here, the like Molly's barn, you can now actually find something in the attic there. There's a secret compartment that in the past had nothing in it. Uh, but now it does. So let's have a look at that. That would be interesting. Let's have a look around out here also. Now is actually a reason to check these areas because they often don't have anything. It's hard to know where to look. <laughs> uh, we are going to most likely encounter some bugged items though. Because I haven't patched all of this as of this recording. So sure things like, you know, you can find a gun on interloper and that sort of stuff in, in the Forsaken Airfield. So if you pick up an item that's invisible, it generally speaking is a bug and shouldn't be there. Let's see what we got here then. I don't see anything here. We'll go up there after. And I don't see anything. So in the low difficulty, you can find a rifle lying about it. Okay, let's check upstairs. So you can go up here. It's like a little hidden area. And I often show it in my videos and things. But in the past, there was nothing to this area. Like you would go ahead and it's neat, it's a neat little thing, but pointless. You don't really gain anything by going up here. It's almost like they forgot about it or something like that. Uh, but now, yeah, there is something up and now there's <laughs> someone, someone here. So that was actually loot. Let's see here. That's a looting bug there. Uh, and then here we have a backpack. But, hey, but beef jerky. So at least now there's something up here. That's nice. I have actually heard, uh, one of the few things I have heard about is that some people have found a rabbit uh, skin hat up here, which would be crazy, especially on interloper. That would be an insane find. All right, enough about that. At least we found beef jerky. Now let's head to the farm. We'll do the usual looting routine, checking the basement first. 
Uh, we'll probably will go for well fed right away, even though. Uh, even though we don't really know where everything is, but I don't think food will be an issue, so. I'm not gonna house any carcasses until I find matches. I'll check the outbuildings here. There's all there. Because if this blows out now, I lose the only fire source I have, so I'm not grabbing that. See in here? No? Well, that would have been neat if they put something there. Okay. You kind of need to check everything now. It's in the past, there are things like, why would I check under here? You, you wouldn't. Like, on my main interloper run, where I survived for over you know, a thousand days, Every now and then I, I would recheck the world. I just go around and I check the whole world again. And sure enough, you'd find something. You'd find like, oh, there was a little corner here I didn't look at or whatever. So there are, sometimes you do miss little things. A good example was a, can, a soda can in Coastal Highway. I don't know if that'll still be there, but in the snow, there's just a soda can just sitting there in the snow. And I get went a thousand days without seeing it because why would I look there? Why would I look into some random piece of snow? Um, but it was there the whole time, you know, so this will come in handy. Undoubtedly, there will be stuff like that, too. And let me know in the comments if I miss something. I'm sure I will miss something. I miss things all the time. Uh, but now I'm trying to look a bit harder. Um, I have to see how that goes. So here there used to be guaranteed matches. Uh, it used to be here, right there. Always the same place every time. It was so consistent you could even find it in the darkness if you had to. And Looks like this is oh, nice. Wow. You could also find a hacksaw here sometimes. And you can find a hammer on the workbench. Right now I really want a pry bar. Let's have a look around here though. How the hidden things. Based on how they sometimes hide the maglens and stuff. Oh, it is mentally challenging to just look everywhere, though. <laughs> What's this? Whetstone. Like, this usually uh, used to be a book here as well. Nothing here that I can see. Check these. Frostbat should be good now. Warming up as well. Barely though, but we are warming up. All right, next, next floor. Hey, oh, some of these crates have stuff inside it now. That's another, another time. All right, kitchen. Check the kitchen. Check the bathroom. Water, give me toilet water, thank you. Let's also grab some uh, curtains. Because we're going to use it to make stuff or repair stuff before we head back out. Should be good. Okay, we got a sewing kit here. Okay. Cooking pot, that's nice. left behind. It's not actually a memento or anything. As far as I know. No, it's just just a note. The mementos is something you have to see if we can find some something useful there. Grabbing this to do some mapping. Oh, another cooking pot. Gonna have that. Yeah, the signs there was something behind this. No, oh, peaches in the sink. I'll take it. Very nice. This used to be a guaranteed can opener location as well. I think it was the only place in Intel where you were guaranteed to find a can opener. Hey, hidden sardines. And I can see maple here as well. There you are. Thank you. Those things are similar to the past. 
Okay, what else? Anything under here? Wait, what's... no. Nothing here. Okay. Grab the book for fire. I'm looking and scanning with my eyes. Hope nobody needs this Cooking anymore. book. Hey, they still do have the can opener. How about that? <laughs> awesome. That is great. Thank you for that. It's going to make it easier because I have... I have this, this, and that to open. All right. Uh, the guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. If I had matches, I would make a fire and cook those things now, but we don't need to do it right now. I'm going to save that flare until I have to use it. Bring my head up to the cra plane crash, get some clothing. Let's sleep here now. Let's have a drink also. Alright, and then we go upstairs. We'll sleep like an hour, I think, to warm up a bit. Hey! Full sweater. Very nice. You. The good thing about starting in Pleasant Valley is that you can go to the plane crash and get as much clothing as possible. Assuming that's still there. Ah. Ketchup chips. Winter's Embrace. Okay. Always check the bathtubs. At least before, you could sometimes find thermal underwear in bathtubs. Today though. Uh, uh, oh, I see something under here. There is a ski jacket. I think I can use this. You can definitely use that. Uh, Maybe on the beds. this. We're good against food poisoning then. Alright. Keep looking. Hopefully I haven't missed anything so far. We're gonna do some repairs also, but not right now. I'm gonna wait until I go to the plane crash first. More pain, so many painkillers. Let's grab some more of this. I want to be able to repair um, and potentially craft if necessary. So we'll grab, I think that's enough. And then we'll sleep for one hour. I'm not sure if we need to sleep actually. Because they're already quite warm. Yeah, I think we'll just pass on sleeping. We can make our way there right now. So let's head to um, Draft Dutch's cabin via the river to get some more cattails. And because of the clothing I found, I'm barely cold now, so I can just walk it. What's the temperature? Minus three, so it's nothing. We're going to head to the river, then head to Draft Dodgers. We'll get some misc loot there. We'll get some uh, cattails. And I'll just keep looting, really. If I find a hacksaw at any point, uh, oops, while I'm here, then I am definitely heading towards the summit, the Nash Canyon. But if not, I think I will leave that until I have a hacksaw. Because I don't really know um, where there is. There they, they, they might be a hacksaw in Timwolf Mountain. There might be one in Ash Canyon now. I don't know. Maybe there is. But because I don't know where there often would be one, then I'd rather not take the risk either. I don't really want to make my way all the way there 
reach the summit and then I can't open the containers. It's sometimes still worth going to the summit, because well, in the past I had the, the stress pistol there. Now you have the crampons, uh, the fire striker, and I'm sure there's other things too. But it's more worth it once you have a hacksaw. We're always going to walk it to preserve our energy and also our um, hunger. So we get to draft our just cabin and then we'll utilize the weather to keep looting. Getting clothing early in interlope is really helpful. Because the, the way the weather works is that the world gets progressively colder until day 50. I'm not sure if it gets colder every day or if it's like uh, every 10 days or whatever. But in any case, uh, in 50 days time, the world is going to be 20 degrees colder oh, than it is now. Uh, which means that, yeah, it's going to get harder. But it also means that the world is warmer now than it will be later. And therefore, if you were to find clothing you can use, that means that you're very likely to have an advantage. You're staying ahead of the curve, ahead of the cold curve, so that you can go around uh, being warm. So if you're able to find a bunch of stuff, uh, like good clothing, very early in the game, it makes uh, the beginning of the run easier because cold becomes less of an issue. So being able to find uh, good clothing is, is very good. So traditionally, the best way to do that is to spawn in... Well, Pleasant Valley is probably the best because of the plane crash. But there's also places like uh, Tim Wolf Mountain, assuming you can... If you can go to the summit early, for example, or Ash Canyon as well, it's good. Um, so yeah, uh, even an HRV also is fantastic. A lot of good loot in HRV. Alright, then we have this. I probably will dump these stones soon. I'm gonna grab all of these cattails. The frostbite risk should go down, or at least not go up. I want as many of these as I can to sustain well fed. So we have more health, or more importantly, more loot. So cattails are the bread and butter of interloper. Uh, they may have changed a little bit where they are, but for the most part I think you'll find cattails, generally speaking, where you found them before. Just wherever there is a river or a lake that's fresh water, you'll find them. And they are great because they weigh very little and they provide 150 calories each. And you can use those to sustain well fed from the beginning. I need to eat soon though to not go hungry. Anything here, by the way? Uh, not that I can see. Wood, I guess, but not really going to use the wood either. Okay, let's head to Draft Dutch's cabin. Actually, warming up now. Look at that. Actually, now <laughs> plus degree, barely, but it is. Let's do that. So and I'll, I'll eat a bit uh, when I get over here. So here's the draft dodge's cabin. The draft dodge's cabin. I need to find food. Uh, traditionally, doesn't have much. It's just like a little refuge on the way to the plane crash. But we'll check it out. We'll go back and sleep here if we need to as well. It'd be around here, there it is. We don't need all these mushrooms, but we'll grab some. It's food, it's cooking, it's warmth. Same with this. In the beginning you want to have a few of these and later it can, you can remove it. All right, let's see what we got in here. And here we have... Container. Fishing cabin, it's called now. Fishing cabin? What? 
Why would this be called fishing cabin? It's not called that. It's called like uh, draft dodges cabin or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Maybe a, maybe a bug. Okay, we got a backpack here as well. Not nothing. Anything under here? Not that I can see. Alright, let's eat something before we get too hungry. Uh, we can just eat this. Actually, let's eat these things. These will not give me food poisoning. Um, sardines only have a chance of giving you food poisoning if they are 75% or lower. So these should be fine. Eat this too. There we go. I want to actually map this. Actually, it's folk, isn't it? I was going to map this area because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is called Draft Dodge's Cabin, not Fishing Cabin. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Now, right, let's go and check out the plane crash. I'm going to keep walking rather than running because we're quite warm. It's still. It's foggy, but we're basically gonna go out of the the fishing cabin and then head. Uh, uh, well, when you come out, you go to the right. And just follow your footprints back, really, until you pass this hill on your right. So on your right there, there's like a hill. You're gonna pass that. There's a fallen tree as well. You're gonna pass the fallen tree. Should be on the right there somewhere. Oh, now I kind of over the hill. Here's the fallen tree. It was on my left. Sorry. Oh, here's the fallen tree, and you can see it's kind of like, kind of like a dent in the ro in the snow here. That means you want to go to the right and up this this dent. This is actually a path up. This didn't used to be there. This path back in the day was not there. But when they added uh, episode three to the game, they added the plane crash uh, in the story mode, and they also added Thompson's Crossing, which wasn't there before. Uh, although you had some buildings there. Cool. And then when that happened, they updated the survival map and then they added this path. Because now they are splitting story and, um, and survival mode. So if they make changes through story, they don't have to change them in survival. Okay, this path leads all the way up to a cave and then a plane crash. We're at before, there were a load of suitcases, and even on Interloper, you'd find quite a lot of clothing there. Not necessarily good clothing. If you were lucky, you'd find, you know, maybe you'd find a wool toque or thermal underwear or a wool sweater, something like that. And that would be great. But you could also just find a bunch of jeans and sports socks and t-shirts, and that's it. But uh, it's worth checking, for sure, if you're able to. We're going to keep running this preserve calories and also not drain our fatigue too much. It's warm. Basically, when it's warm, uh, you don't have to rush. If temperature is not an issue, you can walk. If it is an issue, you can consider running. But it depends on the situation, of course. Can you afford it to run based on your carry weight and your food and so on? There's sometimes a, a carcass there. Is it still there? Yes, so this carcass is still there. Grab this, grab that, grab that, grab this. Okay, so let's check out this cave here. Right now it's warm, so I'll pick this up. Burned Ridge Cave. Getting heavy now. That's okay. Okay, what are we going here? There used to be bed in here. Is that still the case? It is the case. In here? Nothing. Uh, 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 anything else around here? Anything hidden? Well, that would be something. I don't trust them not to put something back here. <laughs> Good sleeper, but it's not, necess not necessary. Alright, let's check out the plane crash then. See what the suitcases and whatnot there is. I wonder if they change any of this. Buggy plane crash. 
Okay, let's start at the top here. Oh, at least, oh, there you are, the crows. Okay, we got suitcase. T-shirt, told you. <laughs> Might be better than this though, yeah. Another t-shirt. Oh, Parker. Damaged, but still Parker. Uh, yeah, see, it, sa it says search frozen corpse, even though I searched it already. That's like an interface bug, I guess. Or interaction bug. Baseball cap. Looking good, Astrid. Yeah, more mittens. I think these are actually better than the ones I found. No, they're not. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Just checking around. So many crows and stuff around. these containers as well. The lockers rather. Tinder bloke. Hey! A new wool sweater. Very nice. Oh, it's clearing up. Might map it after. I walked past a couple cars by the farm that I didn't open to check the vices, but we'll do that another time. My priority was to get indoors, I didn't check the cars. Also, I don't have a pry bar to open the boots. Best. usually always a drink here. Is that still the case? I guess not. Let's do this as well. Let's get into cover here. And do this. Alright, let's start Check the seats first. If there's anything. Hey, nice. Okay, let's go over here. But Polaroid? That looks like Signal Hill to me. I think it is the Signal Hill. Hey, well, Took. You can sometimes find out here, that's the same. Sounds took. Thank you. Alright, now let's check this side. Is there anything? Like lodge between the seats. I don't think so. Alright, time to check the overhead lockers then. We'll uh, change clothing in a sec. I want to loot everything first. Most of the plane crash, and as you could see, it was totally worth it because we got some good stuff. Wool toque, wool scarf, thin wool sweater, parka. It was totally worth it. Nothing, nothing on here. 
Okay, if I can, I'd like to check Skeeter's Ridge. Because Skeeter's Ridge, these are tools. I mean, the wolf is a little bit of an issue. I have 20 stones, though, that I can throw. So many crows around here, it's crazy. All right, let's see what we can do here. I mean, I do have this, if nothing else. Hmm. There's the wolf. Yeah, you, uh, you, you go that way. I think he's kind of stuck. I mean, he's kind of stuck in front of the basement, though. <laughs> Rather, he wasn't stuck there. Yes, yes, I see you. Do you actually saw me, huh? else yeah. We can't scare the wolf away. We just gotta hit them. This is why you have a lot of stones. So if you hit them in the head, they will run away. I'm gonna go to this edge here, but I don't aim the stone at the wolf, because if you do, they'll charge you. And you don't want that. Instead you wanna kind of hit him on the head with it. But you can try and kind of like do like this. Okay, more like this then. See, there we go. I can't feel oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Bye, wolf. You were running away and then suddenly decided that actually I'm going to attack Sack. No, we got away from it. Just used uh, used the fence there. I was hoping that would uh, delay his pathing a little bit. Moldy venison raw. Okay. We got out of it. That's what matters. We'll probably spend the night in Draft Dodge's cabin. Anything in here, though? We're gonna smell. Like all the wolves are gonna smell us as well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, I'm quite heavy, but that's uh, that's okay. I'll make that work. Sports socks. Terrible, but they are still socks. Let's see... Is there anything I didn't see here? I don't think so. Mm. Alright, let's have this ready, because if the wolf comes at me again... Quite heavy, actually. Can I drop something? Uh, not really. <laughs> All right, Wolfie, if you are here, I hope you go away. Oh, you can just do like this with the wolves. Just throw the stone at it. And see, it runs away. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take this shortcut down here. I think it's here. Don't need this anymore. This is a shortcut you can use if you do the hunter as well. Back to draft or just cabin and then we'll rest there for the night. We will then go to the barn and then to Thompson's Crossing and from there probably go to Cinder Hills Mines actually. Why not? Pretty sure this is not called fishing cabin. I mean maybe it is. I don't think so. And 
it's not completely dark yet, so we could maybe do some repairs because we have three sewing kits and some cloth. But we could maybe do some repairs now and also in the morning. That would be good. Hello. Oh, really nice scenery right now in the in the dusk. Okay, so let's we don't need to pick up all of this stuff. Let's sort ourselves out here. I'm carrying some meat around, which I don't really like. Okay, let's have a little drink as well. Okay, so let's see here. So uh, this is good. And then we also have that uh, and this. So this we need to do. Here, uh, that's one. Uh, how much is this? This is actually worse. Yep, yeah. these are worse, and these are for, for sure worse. Okay, let's start by repairing this. 30 minutes, gonna give us a bit of a warmth bonus. There we go, 100%. And then, uh, how let's wear that, repair that as well. Okay. And then 91, 52 takes an hour, takes 45 minutes, takes 45 minutes. I think we'll repair this. I think there'll be enough time. What's oh, too dark? It's not enough time. Okay, let's harvest some stuff that we know we don't need. Get rid of some carry weight. We're not going to be needing the hats. We could repair a little bit in the morning as well. Uh, we won't be needing this. So. Uh, we definitely will not be needing the t-shirts. I could just drop it, but I'm going to treat this as if it's a long-term run. It's not going to be that. I'll do, I'll do a different video where I start a new main run, probably. But not right now. Um, but I'm going to treat it as if it is that, in which case I would preserve all the cloth. No? Keep those. And then this, get rid of this. Okay. Let's eat something and go to sleep. So let's... Um, it doesn't matter if we get food poisoning, really. Let's do this. Let's eat all of this stuff here. Let's get hunger all the way up. But we're not hungry at all. And we can sleep. And uh, we could repair some more, but sure it's necessary yeah we should really have some more could wait though let's sleep yeah we'll sleep yeah let's sleep 10 hours let's do it and then it will be morning it'll be colder but we'll have regenerated some health as well there we are sounds like it's a blizzard outside so this is a perfect opportunity to do some repairs then, <laughs> seeing as it's a blizzard outside. Okay, if that's the case, let's return to repairing these things. Till the blizzard ends. Prioritize repairing things you think you are likely to be using for a long time. Like these things, for example, are unlikely to be replaced anytime soon. Did it end? I think it did. Yeah, let's actually try this. I forgot to do that yesterday. Okay, this is cabin. All right, but we are cold, so let's just quickly uh, warm up a bit and uh, we'll repair. Uh, yeah, you can repair the trousers. Warm up a little bit. Yeah, good enough. Now you can see we have plus 10 warmth bonus. And also we have cold fusion, so it's so actually plus 12. 
Um, and if we now go outside, you see it's minus 15, but of course we are just actually minus 5 because of 10 warmth bonus. And the air temperature is uh, not as cold because of the, um, the cold fusion. So we're going to head to the river again. And we're going to grab cattails on the way to the farm. Uh, we could check the haystacks and stuff, I suppose. But I don't know. I, would there be loot by the haystacks? I, mean, I suppose they could have done that. I don't think so. I think for the most part, they have changed where loot is. But the loot is still going to be in a named location. So, uh, for example, like... Instead of finding a hammer in the farm, you'll find it in the barn or the nearby car or something. Uh, or you find it in maybe, uh, you know, the nearby barn or something like that. It's not going to be out in the snow or behind a rock. Before, uh, very, very few items were like that. There were a few random items you'd find around in the open. So, for example... Um, the, the soda can I talked about earlier, you'd find it randomly in the snow. Uh, the stim on Interloper in Ash Canyon, which I, which I wonder if that's still there. That's just ran lying there pretty much random in the snow. Uh, are there any other ones? There's the bear coat also in Ash Canyon. Anything else? Um, this is lying around in like the open. I mean, no, that they tend to be in like caves or on corpses, you know, at, at the very least there's a corpse and then you find it by the corpse. There are some exceptions though. Yeah, we're going to look around, like I might check out some details like uh, the hay bells, but for the most part, I don't think that's necessary. Pleasant Valley, easy to get lost there because it's big and open. It doesn't seem so bad anymore after Forsaken Airfield. <laughs> yeah, I smell because of the meat I picked up, but I'd rather not cook until I make an actual fire. Oops, there's a wolf over there. We have the birch forest where you can have the bear and also moose, but we don't have a moose here. Because of the um, the markings by Pensive Pond, so I already know where the moose is. The birch forest is also worth... Wow, that's trippy. Graphic rendering having some issues there. <laughs> is that a wolf? I think it is a wolf. Um, if you can go here, if it's warm enough and you don't get killed by the bear... <laughs> Worth going there because there's so much birch and you can use that to level up cooking, to stay warm, <coughs> and also regenerate health. So it's worth it in my opinion. I right, see if we got anything here. Great. And that's it. Don't see anything else. Uh, I will check the track. The I'll just do it now, seeing as I'm right here. Check the birch forest. Um, actually, we could maybe just check the birch forest now, seeing as we're right here. Go back to the barn. Hey, quality tools. Hope nobody needs this. Nice anymore. inside the tractor. Fantastic. That's awesome. All right. All right. So let's go here. But there's also a house, like a burnt down house, to look for some corpses. We gotta be careful though, there is a bear in here. And he's easy to miss because of all the, the birch. So we need to keep an eye out for him. I can't hear him. I bet you he is around. There he is. Right there. That's him. We'll take the long way around. 
he can smell me as well, you see. Because of the meat I'm carrying, which is actually doing me more harm than good, really. You just uh, walk around, bear. Don't mind me, I'm just uh, a tourist of sorts. Yeah, you go. Well, there's this den, this is the bear den. You can tell by the, the bones. If you see bones, then that's not a good sign. <laughs> that means there's an animal that lives there. Usually a bear. I think there's only one I can think of. No, there's two I can think of where Wolf lives there. One is the one in, in Blackrock, but I think there's only in story mode. There's a, like a, a wolf there. Um, and then there is Scruffy's Cave in Desolation Point. Scruffy's Cave uh, by the waterfall in Desolation Point. Um, it's one of the indoor wolves in the game. And there's a bunch of bones and stuff in there. Good old Scruffy. There's four indoor wolves and in, uh, indoor animals in the game. It's uh, Fluffy, very famous from the dam, but no longer in the dam. Uh, but in the workshop, the bleak inlet instead. Scruffy, which I just described in Desolation Point, in a cave by waterfall, and Sketchy in the ice caves in Hush River Valley. There's also Larry the Rabbit in the cave to Bleak Inlet from Full of Musket. Uh, but that might change when they change these animal spawns, though. Let's see if there's anything else around here. What's that? Nothing. All right, we're getting cold. Uh, let's uh, let's head back to the barn. We have a bunch of a uh, bunch of saplings now. Not saplings, sorry, birch. So we are good. Okay, where's this wolf? We gotta be careful here. I still only have this, the only defense I have is this flare and these stones. This is why I picked up so many. But at least you have that. Okay, I don't see the wolf anywhere. We're gonna go in here and then we'll head to Thompson's Crossing. There's no point going back up the signal hill, that's more to get the Polaroid, which you can do another time. But for now, if I find a hacksaw, I'm going to Timor Mountain and maybe Ash Canyon. But if not, I'm going to go to Coastal Highway. And if you find a hammer, we can forge at like, um, at the Riken in Desolation Point. Okay, let's see if we got anything in here. Quickly check this. I end up where you more don't more really more find more. anything here. On lower difficulties, you'll find arrows stuck to it. Sometimes even a bow. Not this time though. Let's check out this guy as well. What's that? Is that a bandage? No, nothing. I will check out that part later. I like entering from this side, this is easy to keep track of the loot. So in here there used to be a guaranteed stim. Well, let's see if that's still the case. I mean, we don't know if it's guaranteed or not. Let's look around. Nothing there, nothing here. Okay. Let's check uh, here. We got... This is the note that's left behind. Hey, hammer! Thank you. Hey, that means we can forge. Fantastic. Okay, well then we just need scrap metal. Arrowheads, wow. Okay. I'll take it. We need a hacksaw though for the uh, dog food. For the uh, saplings. 
wonder if I can drop any of this gear. But because I found the hammer, that changes things. Because now we can actually forge, you see. Okay, we're gonna look around the car before we look in the car. Intlin likes to hide things. So let's find hiding stuff. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let me actually write these things down. So we got uh we got quality tools. Uh, tractor, a birch forest, and we have hammer, barn, uh, and also can opener, beauty farm. Uh, I don't think we found anything else that was like high-end stuff, I mean combat boots, but I mean, no matches so far. The flare was in, in Signal Hill. Uh, cooking pots as well, a bunch of medicine, yeah. I guess we could write flare and see him because I think that's a that that's usually there all right now let's look upstairs we might head towards the Riken okay we got hey matches and stim all right well, this that stuff will is awesome okay now things are gonna be easier I'm gonna put that down too matches um stim um. I was thinking I'll just write it down later, but I'll just forget. Okay, so we have a stim, so that's the same place. I have a suspicion that I haven't changed any of the stims. Because I found a stim here. Uh, I, when I went very quickly on Tim Wolf Mountain, that was just to see if, if the Spelunkus thingy was there, which it wasn't. Uh, there was also a stim at the summit. Um, that's all. But I have a suspicion that it's um, the same. Flare a kit here. Hey, the stress pistol. Well, this stuff will come in handy. But no shells. Mm hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to take some notes here. Um, zero shells. So we have the weapon, but no shells for it. Okay, interesting. Scrap metal will take that. Hey, the pry bar. Fantastic. That was a random one, though. Also, the pry bars are not really worth noting locations for because, you know, they're more plentiful. Oh, the barn has a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, now we can open these lockers as well. There are some other lo lockers I haven't opened, but I'm not going to go back to them right now. We'll head to Rural Crossing. Okay, we are a bit heavy. Let's see if it's possible for me to eat or drink something to lighten the load. I'm not sure if it is, though. Not really. We'll have a little bit of a drink, though. Uh, we could maybe dump these. They're very heavy. They had a lot of burn time, which is great. But they are heavy. Uh, other than that, uh, I guess we could lighten the load by eating this. I do need to cook. I'm going to wait to cook stuff. Till I get to... Um, <clears throat> to Thompson's Crossing because in Thompson's Crossing you have the six six top burn stove but well, we can use that just eat these just, just eat it we have food for, for a little while here just, just fill it up completely we'll find more food at Thompson's Crossing the, the meat's going to expire but when we cook it it will give us 50% I was worried about food poisoning, I just eat it raw. There we are. Okay, we're still heavy, but that's okay. We're gonna get heavy soon anyway, so. Alright, what's the temperature out here? Let's check the nearby mini barn thingy as well. 
Like these ones, and over there. Do we have this? With no shells. Let's see, because the only reason I want to check these is that there usually isn't anything in these kind of whatever these are called, the hay, hay storage places. But um, uh, there is one exception, which is in Full on Muskeg. Uh, they hit, they have a backpack in one of these. So I think it's worth checking just in case. Uh, just in case there is something there. Hmm. I think we'll go back to the road because I want to check the cars. Okay, how we're looking here. Yeah, I found books in the past. Anything in here? No. Let's quickly check this house here. What is the hair, if anything? It's always just burnt down, like... Why is this here? <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's anything. Okay, let's head to the road. Because then we can check the visors. So... There are some cars I didn't check. There's a, there was a car by uh, the farm, which I didn't check. Two cars there, actually. And there's another car towards Blackrock. And then there are two cars by point of disagreement. Then there's this car. There's another one on the way to... Starting to, feel numb. to Thompson's Crossing. In Thompson's Crossing itself, there are... Two cars, I think. There's two parked cars. And I think there's another one on the road. And... Then there's another car towards the mine. I don't think we'll go there. So there's quite a few cars to check. Now, I'm not sure, but based on what I've seen so far in the looting I've done in For Forsaken Airfield and what I heard from others, I'm pretty sure that the mementos are fixed spawns because they're always the same places. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Off, we'll take that. Oh, you can do this. Nice, you can reach him from back here. <laughs> cool. Still gonna go ahead here, here though, because I want to check in here. I'm actually, warming up in here. All right, I checked this. Open that. It's a sign that I've been here. Uh, there's also a little loot area over there. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna head to Thompson's Crossing now. A lot of things to loot there. Let's see what we got. Uh, what I mostly want is a hacksaw. We don't have to get it or anything, but it would be good. And uh, I want to see... I might do some more repairs or something like that. If you find mementos, you might go get it, because I think that... In none of the runs... This is the fifth run I'm doing now since the patch came out. But the first sort of this is the first sort of normal interloper, and I've only done stalker and an interloper on um, you know in the new areas. Well, this is the forefront, maybe it's the forefront actually. Anyway, uh, and I have found this rest pistol now I think twice or was it three times? Uh, but they, they don't they never have shells. So I think the sh oops I think the shells are to be found somewhere else like. Uh, I heard someone found some in mementos. Someone found some just in a drawer, like you would on lower difficulties. But we need to figure that out. So, what I do like is that what I gather, can gather so far is that the distress piston is no longer a guaranteed spawn uh, in fixed locations. In the past, an interloper, you could only find the distress pistol in two places, and that was the ravine. And also on Summit. You would always find it there. Summit would have eight shells, Ravine would have four. You could sometimes find a third distress pistol in Ash Canyon by a campfire, but it always was empty, so it was kind of pointless. So you always knew exactly where to go to get the distress pistol. 
The impression I'm getting now is that instead they have random locations where it can be found. Maybe it's determined by a loot table or something, I don't know. But there are many different places that the stress pistol can be. But then the shells are somewhere else. So that means that it becomes more of a late game thing. And I actually think that's great because one of the things about early interloper was that if you had the opportunity to, you could head down in the ravine or Timberwolf uh, Mountain to the summit and you could um, you could grab the distress pistol and then you'd just be really, really strong in an early game. You could even kill a bear or a moose really early, which would just set you up for the whole game. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, it's kind of like it, it does take away from the very early game into the experience because you have that weapon so quickly. However, if instead the weapon is found in various possible locations and the shells are found somewhere else and there's minimal of them, it becomes a much rarer weapon and much more... Uh, you have to be more conservative with how you use it. So I think that's great. I think that's very, very good if, if that's the case. If that's how they're doing it now, which it does seem to be the case, yeah. Okay, here at Thompson's Crossing. Let's do the rural store first, and then we'll do the actual uh, place over there. So here we have this truck. Anything in the back here? No, let's go inside. Like this. Why is this? Nothing. Open this. Anything in this tractor? <laughs> no. There is a uh, wolf around here, but it's... there we are. And I think we'll just uh, do this. All right, let's see what we got in here then. We'll check the other car after. Oh, Parker. Uh, is it better condition? Yes, it is. Hey, another wool tooth. Fantastic. That's really good. Work boots. Those are actually the best boots you can get. Well, I think actually combat boots are better, but in terms of the weight ratio, uh, work boots are uh, inferior. Okay, so let's have a look around here. We got Summit Soda. I don't really see anything else. Accelerant. That matches. It is matches. Look at that. I think I can use this. Okay. Put that. Milestone. Not even any Canada money. Selling kit. Hey, sewing book. Take it. Nice. Being in here. Beans, nice. I don't see anything else. Hmm. All right. That's pretty good still. Let's take this car. Go away, Wolfie. Uh, see devices here. Okay, nothing there. Where did you go, Wolfie? Okay, I don't know where you went, Wolfie, but uh, just stay away from me. Uh, we'll loot this one last, because I'm probably going to stay there for the night. So I think we'll drop this piece of meat here. But then if there is a wolf around, it's not going to annoy me as much. Then we'll loot this area. Be interesting to see, because for example, the church over there, you never really find anything in, in that church. So it'd be good if you can find something now. 
let's see what we got in here. Uh, we do all of this. We don't need this in our hands. We're warming up quite well because of our clothing. I'm not going to write that much. I find cooking pots this and things. Oh, herbal tea. Nice. I don't really need it, I don't think, but... Grab these two, just because I will use it for the fire. Oh, <laughs> wow! Uh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna write that down, but I think that was random. Nice, but uh, I don't think that was a. I think that was a random spawn. That is fantastic. That is, uh, let's repair it and it will be really good. That's the strongest piece of clothing you can find on Interloper. Uh, also the crafted items. You usually only find maybe two of them. They are very rare. Ashura Valley will have one always, or at least they used to. Okay, we are heavy, but that's okay. <laughs> it's also because we're tired. Let's see what else we got. Is there anything in here? Like a hammer or hacksaw is hidden in the snow for some reason. Hey, speaking of Haxel. This be prepared for anything. There we go. Alright. I put it here. Haxel. Ply bin. Alright. Come on. Alright, that's awesome. So we could go to summit now actually and I'm use this. But this seeing as we have the Haxel and the hammer, it's smarter to go to Desolation Point. All full of Nuskik. I think we'll go to probably Desolation Point. That, which you don't need. Visors? Anything? No. Nope. Nice, so there was a hacksaw there. How about that? Alright, what about in here? Anything in here? Big house. Coastal house. I mean, this is not near the coast. I think there must be a, another bug. Here we go here. Food so far. What about here? Uh, the water, I could take it, but we'll get more water in the roll store. Another roll store. Um, oh, suitcase. Community hall. Well, this Another simple part. We don't need it, but I'll grab it anyway. We'll do a little repair session in the community hall after I looted everything. I don't trust that there isn't anything like around in some hidden corner. Wait, did I not loot that? I did not loot it. I'm gonna grab the cloth, we don't need that.
Let's see, we got here. Hats. Getting pretty good with clothing. It's just socks and thermal underwear we really need. Don't see anything underneath stuff. No. I think we are done in here. Wait a minute, was this house this big on the outside? Like two floors to it. How big was this on the outside? Oh yeah, I guess it could have two floors, yeah. I'm do it in this order here. Nothing there. Nothing here. Uh, let's check around the gardens. We've got wood. We don't need it, but I'll take it. Okay, we'll check the the. Cemetery. It would be weird if there was loot here, though. Like, why would there be loot at the cemetery? But we'll check, nevertheless. <laughs> There's a building down there that's boarded up. Yep. And then you yeah, have the picnic site. Let's check in here. Oh, it gets too dark. Is already getting a bit dark. The book, the hat. Okay, now there's actually something in here. There didn't, never used to be anything in here. Oh, I should have torch now. It's getting a bit dark. Let's look very closely. Book and book. Uh, 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 there's some papers there. Papers. It's hard to see, it's getting dark. Book. More books. What about here? Barely see anything. Hey, Summit Soda! Okay, so there was something. Alright, well, there was that. That was worth it by itself, so. I could light the flare for light, actually, because I'll probably use that to light a fire. Or I might use the lamp oil just to guarantee the fire with a match. That's also one way to do it. I don't really want to light it now though, in case it blows out. Anything here? No. Oh yeah, there is. Ready. Okay. Let's check down here also. I'm very heavy because I'm carrying all this stuff. But uh, that's okay. We're not cold, so we'll be we'll be a bit heavy. And we'll do an inventory management inside the community hall. Check the boat as well. And normally, that was interesting here. And normally I don't go to uh, Thompson's Crossing on Interloper. And I do eventually, but in the early game I usually don't go here. Because I know from experience that you can find loot here, you can find food and clothing and stuff. But I do know from experience that this area doesn't or didn't have any high-end loot. You would never find a hacksaw or hammer here uh, or anything like that. So. In terms of what you needed to find in the interloper as soon as possible, there wasn't really much to it um, in terms of what, what you could loot. So I never, well, I rarely went there on interloper. I would just ignore it pretty much. And then I would come back later to check for, uh, uh, for more food and clothing. But now, because uh, the loot has changed, well, for one thing, it's worth going here just to get food and then check the loot. But also now that we found a hacksaw, that means that there is a potential hacksaw spawn here. So now it's actually worth going here. 
But also the Machina, which was crazy. But the Machina, I'm pretty sure, is just a random... Random spawn, because it was in that cabinet. But we'll see. Try not. Okay, it's really dark. I think I am going to light this. And we'll use that to light the fire. And that will just be our... Uh, we'll grab some torches. Don't see anything else. Okay. Now we have lit the fire, so to speak. Okay, here in this market, you would find before like a backpack, sometimes like a baseball cap just laying around, a pry bar sometimes. Let's look around, see what there is now. I can see a spray can over there. I'm not too bothered about. Yeah, there's a spray can. What about over here? So far, I do not see anything. No, just a spray can. How about in here? Nothing. I'm fine. Alright. Let's go into the community hall. Let's uh, cook some stuff. And loot it as well. We can actually check the secret compartment because we have a hammer. I think the hammer can break down that compartment. Or maybe we need a hatch hatchet for that. Find out. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, what we got in here? Mittens. Nothing there. Let me just have a quick look around here as well. See anything? In here first. Like this. So there's like shoes and things laying about. Let's also check up here, because in the past, there's never been anything on the stage itself. Like up here, there's never anything. Let's just see if that's the case now. I'm not going to break down these tables, though. Hey, look at that. There is something here, yeah. Haha, <laughs> they did add something. Nice. Nothing in it, but that's okay. And here? Oh. Go upstairs. <laughs> Can this be broken down? It can. Okay, so we'll do that later, not right now. Might as well do it, seeing as we're here. And then I need to light a fire, which I'll do now. I'm just gonna check this one quick. I think that is also a check behind here. Okay, let's light a fire. Grab torches and stuff. Oops. Uh, that was not meant to happen. Can I pick this up? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I meant to right click on the thing. thing. Oh god, I can't actually... Oh. Yes! <laughs> I meant to do this. That's what I was going to do. Whoops. Alright, let's uh... Do this. If I am close to failing, I'll use some accelerant. Let's see how that goes. Nice, we got it. Now we can throw this back here. Let's put this on. Let's 
So we're gonna just make water. We're going to also drop this, put that on there to cook, and we're also going to cook everything we can that can be warmed up. We have a can opener now, so we can just do this. We need a can opener or a knife for this. You don't need to do this, you can just open it and eat it, of course. But you also level cooking doing this, and the food becomes warmer. You can also cook them next to the fire like this. Won't take very long for it to be done. Grab a torch. I don't think there was anything in here. No. Let's check all this stuff. Oh, you can't open that, okay. All of this stuff. Very often we'll find some food here. Yeah. I think the food's probably done now, actually. Yeah. So many cabinets. I think we'll head to the Riken and forge. That becomes sustainable. Oh, coffee. Handy. Nice. Hey, okay, another another can opener? Oh. Two can openers. I mean, some, you can find between two and four can openers. Okay. We'll break down that thing later. That's done. 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 Okay, uh, put a note the can opener, uh, where did I put the, um, and com hall, com hall is community hall if you're curious about that. 30 minutes, okay, let's, um, how many bandages do I have actually? One, okay, well in that case, let's make one. <coughs> so I have three. Let's start making some stuff. Okay, that's cooked. Uh, let's start. Let's use this. We can also eat. Well, let's eat this, for example. And this. Just have a drink. And then we have uh, these. We can now make tea in it. Okay, and then we'll make some more of this. Why wait? Here we go. E. T. T. Make some more teas. We have a lot of water and we're gonna make more anyway. And tea. We'll make this. Hey, an Aurora. Cool. Nifty. Let me uh, get a cool look at this. That's neat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not that much. Oh, there's some flashing lights. Some, uh, some signs flickering. That's all right, yeah. They were always such a cool phenomenon. I think it's fantastic how they designed it. In this case, it just gives us really light, but it's a really, really cool concept. 
Okay, uh, let's do this. And let's just make a couple coffees as well. And then we'll make another one of these. There was some cooking while we're doing this. Pour it dry. Let's grab that. And even though we don't need it, might as well just do this. And let's just do this as well. Craft two of these. I'm gonna craft a bit into the night here. Yeah. Take a session to. Um, let's just put that away. Make some of this stuff. There we go. Uh, let's cook this. Craft some of this. And now we're going to just make one at a time. I think. Oh no, we have two. Make another coffee then. Not many more to make. This is more than enough. And we're not going to. We can actually make finish the tin of coffee. So that's done. Yeah, so now... Oh no, we still have some. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's just finish that tin. And yeah, now it's done. Yeah. And then make this. In a way, it should be faster to prepare the mushrooms if you have a knife. Considering you're kind of cutting it. You shouldn't, shouldn't really think too hard about this game. I don't think we need any more. It's just uh, this. There we go. Cooking level two, yay! Grab some torches. I want at least three. We're gonna actually spend a little session in here after we slept to uh, set up some clothing and whatnot. These are terrible torches. Um, I think I'll drop this one. That's also not too great. Also not great. Bright lights incoming. And one more. Yeah, it's okay. And then I'm gonna break down this... Uh, Um, thing here, the hidden cabinet. While the lights are still going. There we are. You're very heavy, but that's alright. But here, behind this uh, table here, there is a hidden cabinet. So we're going to break that down with the hammer. It's behind this one. Hammer or hatchet? Break it down. And let's check it out. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's eat something. Um, I think I'm happy to eat something that's low condition. Because we have a lot of cures for food poisoning. So if we get food poisoning, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're very heavy now. That's why right. we'll sort out in the morning. Let's drop. Okay, so let's sleep, and then I don't think we'll sleep a full 10 hours. We just need it to be light and then do some repairs. I think we'll sleep like, I sleep six hours. And then we'll spend the next day just repairing and main maintaining some stuff, and then we'll keep going.
Okay, so I want to do some repairs and sort out the inventory now. Let's see here. Uh, because this is going to be better, but I need to repair it first. We're going to do that. I'm just going to set up this. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We can do this. I could just read the book, I suppose, but... There you go. How are we actually with the skill? If I read this, will I level? No. Then there's no point. Um, yes, yeah, so that's much better. And gives more protection. Because I don't usually pay much attention to what goes inside and outside. There is an outside and inside layer. It's pretty straightforward, really. It's just in this case, it's where it's on the left, and here it's where it's on the right. And you can tell if you go outside and things get wet or frozen, you can see which is the outside layer. So I, my main thing that I look for in when I put stuff on is just how much temperature it gives. So how warm am I? That's all I care about. I don't really care about water resistance or even animal protection to a certain degree, at least. They are factors and they're important, but... Um, I don't really care about it, so you often see me put it on in the wrong order. So, for example, in this case, um, here it's correct. But in other cases, it might not be. So, for example, did you have an example here? Well, let's say it was the Parker, maybe. Yeah, let's, let's ignore the Mackinac for now. Let's just put uh, this one on. But so this one, because this one has more wind resistance, they really should be in reverse. Right, so this one should really be on the outside, not the inside. So that would give me slightly better uh, windproof bonus. That's basically how that would work. Because the way it, it works uh, is that they kind of... Uh, they don't really stack, I don't think. It's the same with the protection. It, it only goes by where I was on the outside. It doesn't go where I was on the inside. Or something like that. There might be some details I'm misremembering there. But anyway, those are details that are correct. And you should ideally put things in the correct order. So that whatever has the best stats for whatever statistic you want should be on the outside. I personally care very little about it because all I care about is how warm I am and that's it. I don't care about the rest. Okay, let's do some more repairs. And let's have a drink as well. Oh, let's eat this because it's going to get worse and worse. Yeah, there we are, good. Okay. Uh... They don't have to be high, like, perfect condition, but they should be okay, at least. Uh, you see, these also, like, they give way more protection than the other shoes. They also weigh twice as much. Not twice as much, actually. Point, point 0.5. They give more protection. Slightly less sprint, surprisingly. But these are still better, in my opinion. They give warmth, you see. Uh, these, I'll probably repair them at some point, but let's harvest some stuff with cloth. I think I'm going to leave some stuff behind here, and uh, we'll come back for it another time. So, let's, uh, let's put this in here. Let's put this, like, uh, let's put, like, misc loot clothing in, uh, uh, calm hall, people. I'm gonna make this a temporary base because everything I don't really need, I'm gonna put in here. There we are. Add lighten the load. Now, let's have a look at our inventory here. So we got two books. Uh, this won't level. What about this? This won't level either. I think I'm already level two. Yes. Those are not that important. Then we have a bunch of these. We got some wood. It's heavy, and then we have two can openers. We don't need that either. Right, I think... Um, no worry about metal, we'll find metal there. I think we'll take this book with us, because we can read it later. And then I think we will put... The water, we'll drink it, you'll see. And that as well. 
Uh, uh, yeah, we'll take the rest with us, I think. Yeah, a bit heavy, but that's okay. So what we'll do now is, I was thinking of reading, but I don't think there's any point because the weather's okay. Yes. Okay, so I think they changed this, by the way. It only costs one bit of hide now, it used to be two. I think they changed this too. I don't think this was two before, maybe it was. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna check out the houses across the road, and then we're gonna head to, that was creaky, <laughs> head to the coastal highway. Uh, we now have matches, so I don't need this many stones anymore. So I'm just gonna chuck these. It makes it a bit lighter as well. You just drop them, but where's the fun in that? We'll do it this way. You just need to carry like between one and three. We'll check the cars. I tend to carry two to distract walls, but now I'm not so sure that's necessary. Alright. Let's check this area. Check the cars. I don't I very often I don't go in the back seats of cars anymore, so it's very rarely anything that you can't see. But you never know. Okay, check visors. I'm just going to, excuse me, I'm just going to put the mouse sensitivity down slightly. Still trying to figure out. That's better. I had to fiddle a lot with my uh, that stuff when uh, patch came out. Anything around here, by the way, like this laying about? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Well, you know when I say that, that's when there's something here. Let's check the car. Checking devices. Nuts. Hats. We don't need the hat. Nothing in here. We checked you. Oh, I didn't open that one. I don't uh, Let's see if the... Is the bear out? Because up here there is a cave. Actually, there's two caves. I'm not sure if there's any actually worth going there. We can have a quick look though. Because I think the saplings up here. And now that we have the hacksaw, I wouldn't say no, it's some saplings. We need to find maple as well. And we need to start collecting the guts. Though if I see a deer or a rabbit, I might need to start curing that. Wolves, yes. You, uh, just do your thing, Wolfie. Ignore me. That's good. You do that. I want to have two of these, always. I need two more. Grab some. A little easier later. So that's a bear cave over there. Uh, the can... Maybe be stuff in there anyway, but over here, the, oh, there he is, yeah. There's another cave. Did he see me? I think he did see me, yeah. Let's quickly check in there. So you can get past the spare. Nothing in the bear cave, I assume? No. I don't think he will uh, get close enough. As of right now, he's... Yep, yeah, I thought so. Because he lost line of sight for me and I was too far away. 
Then I can just chuck a stone to get rid of them. Okay, so there's some rabbits here I could use to get guts, but the issue with that is that the bear will smell it. <laughs> uh, I don't have a bedroll, so I need to sleep in... I might even go back and sleep in the rural store, the Thompson's Crossing. Uh, the alternative would be to sleep in the trailer on the other side of the mine. I guess that's okay, actually. So here there's usually some birch saplings. I don't see any today. And we got the wind against us, we're being really slow. Uh, there's a second cave here. Let's see what we got in here. No saplings, really. That's a shame. Oh, we'll find some saplings. Yeah, anyway, there's the cave. Anything in here? Well, there's coal. Uh, we're going to be finding a lot of coal, though, so I'm not too worried about that. I guess we could grab it anyway. Let's actually drink one of our precious coffees. Um, we got so many of them anyway. And I think we'll actually drop these because they're a bit heavy. Actually, this we can keep. Yes. Okay, so the main reason I wanted to come here was to see the cables of the saplings, and there weren't any saplings, so that's a bit disappointing. Okay, well, we're going to go to the cave, I think, but let me just quickly check around the corner here because I think maybe they are actually down here. I've only been up here like once or twice. It's one of those areas that you don't really have any reason to go here. The main reason to go here is for Faithful Cartographer. Because this is the Upper Falls, see? And you have Lower Falls. But you also need to map the Upper Falls for the, uh, the achievement. And that's here. It's one of those areas that's kind of... Not really hidden per se, but I wish actually it wouldn't bring up the distress pistol now that I like considering I don't have any bullets. I do know you can find flare shells in Desolation Point, so uh, ever since I played the new area and did it blind, and now I'm on my fourth run, I don't mind finding spoilers and things. Oh, there's the bear again. Uh, and I saw that in Desolation Point there should be some uh, some of those in the mementos. Did he turn around? He did. But this is why I carry two stones. Because <laughs> you can trick the animals. One, to get rid of the wolves. Well, I don't really need it, actually, because I got this. As long as I aim that at a wolf when I have a torch up, it'll be fine. Got him to distract Mr. Bear. Yeah, you just uh, continue. So, I was going to go the other way, but we'll go here. I think there's a car here as well. I might check it out. I think it's just beyond the the turn up here. There's a single car. I might have a look at it just for the visors. And then we'll head into the cave. I think that the stim will be there. Because I have a strong suspicion that the stims on Interloper are still in the same places as before. I think. Maybe they move them around in those places, but they're still going to be there, I think. And then we'll have to sleep in in the trailer on the other side, because we need a bed. It's warm out. I'm actually warming up. It's plus one degree for me because of the clothing I found and the repairs I did, because I got plus... How much do I have? Plus 13, so I got really good warmth, so I don't really have to worry about the cold for quite a few days. It's still going to be cold in the morning, though. 
So I'm just going to head uh, over here. This is the entrance to the mine. I'm kind of taking a little detour now. But there is a car over here. I just want to check it quick. It has visors. And it's... I don't think... I think it's by the crossroads. I don't think it's all the way towards the collapse. Oops. I know that route really well because of things like Hopeless Rescue. You always come across things like that. Uh, now let's see. There is a wolf here though. So we gotta be a little bit careful of the wolf. Um, oh yeah, there's a... Is that, it looks a bit like a cave over there. I don't remember there being a cave there. Oh hey rabbit. What are you doing out here? Don't you know there's wolves around? Exactly. Should be afraid. Uh, isn't there a car here? Pretty sure there's a car. There it is, yeah. The red car. All right, this is the tip typical misclute that you usually just ignore because it's kind of out of the way. I don't think there's another car. I think it's just this one. And then down there is like the end of the road. And it just kind of just ends there. Sometimes there's a corpse there, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's see what we got in here, if anything. Nothing there. Nothing here. What about biases and things? Okay, nothing here. Of course the wind is against me as usual. I'll take this little shortcut up here. I'll head straight into the cave, and in the cave... Not the cave. The mines. There should be a stim. And... On the interloper, normally, normally there isn't really anything in the system. I think you can find a jerry can in there too. And I think you can find a storm lantern or a pry bar. I think, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Oh yeah, there is a cave here. This is a cave that I almost never go to. Because there's no real need to, because it's close to the Cinder Hills mine, and then there's another cave, like the Bear Cave, and then the other cave, which is one I was just at. But I'll check it out now, though. Because now that we're learning the maps again, we need to check every cave. Doesn't look like there's anything in here, though. No. Unless it's like over here. No. Okay. Nothing here. And onwards to the mines we go. I think I've been more or less everywhere in this game in terms of like uh like hidden areas and caves and whatnot. There are always a few you know misc remote places that I haven't been to. Can I go up here actually? I never tried that. I don't think you can. No. no. Yes you can. It doesn't really do anything though. But for example over here. There's the wolf. And we're heading for the mines. For example up here on the left here. Like have you ever gone here in your life? <laughs> Like, if you've played the long dark, have you ever gone up here? Up there? Well, the answer is you probably haven't, because why would you? Uh, there's really no need to go up there. Because it's just, it's just like map edges, you know, so it is. 
but uh, there could be something there, you know. But you won't you won't find like random loot or whatever. But you'll find things like um, you'll find things like maybe mushrooms or something like that. So the, I have been to these places, but those are typical kind of places I explore once. I go there at some point in my life to see if there's something there, include that there's nothing there, and then I leave. I actually hit him. <laughs> right, so now, because I don't have the flare, the trick now is that uh, I need to stay near some sort of protection. Because if this wolf gets too close, I need to have the option to get be in cover to light this torch. Otherwise, he, it, it will attack me. That would be something like this, like here. These these are sheltered positions because of the trees. Uh, he might actually go for the doe instead. I can crouch spam like this. Get the doe closer. Okay, he's gonna go for the doe maybe. Nah, it's too far. Okay, now you have blizzard as well. Great. Yeah, I need the winds coming from my right, so I need to have access to something on my right. So if the wolf gets too close, I can go to a sheltered position and light the torch, and that should stop the wolf in its tracks. But until then, I am just walking the dog. I am saving my matches and just going on a walk with my my forest dog. We just decided to tag along. And I'm just kind of keeping an eye on him. The most likely scenario where the wolf catches up is if he gets too far behind. So right now he's kind of just walking after me. But if, if the wolf has to sprint to catch up, uh, then there is a possibility that he sprints and gets too close and then he charges. I'll grab the that stuff later. Okay. Same principle, just keep going. Keep an eye on the wolf. Have shelter here. And now it's a little bit tricky because here there isn't really any shelter. The rest will be on the left here, I guess. It should be fine now. And if he started attacking now, I could just run in. Yeah. Okay. That should do it. Okay. Let's see what we got here in the mines. Have they changed this? Is there any kind of loot in here now? Why didn't that... What? Why didn't that light it? I held it in. I think I wasted two matches doing that. Yeah, I did. Oh, that was uh, dumb. I did click my mouse button, and then I held it in, and it started lighting. It stopped, and I was still holding it in. And then it just used another match. Oh, well. Just three matches lost there. We'll call it human error. Maybe I was clicking too far back on the mouse or something. I don't know. In any case, in here, the main resource is coal. You can find like 40 pieces of coal here. Here in this junction, you need to go left always because it leads to the little uh, area that can have the stem. And there can also be tools there, or at least it used to be. When I say there is, what I mean is it used to be. And here we are. Uh, the, this box is still here. Interesting. Hey, marine flare for some reason. Over here, I don't think there'll be anything, so I'm not gonna even check. But down here, though, uh, anything like around here? And the route is to the left there. I'm gonna check everything, though. I'm not gonna pick up every piece of coal because it is too much. We don't actually need that much. Okay, let's see what we got here. Food. Very nice. Uh, 
Let's see here. I think I'll leave the coal because I got, I got seven. I guess it would take like ten or something. I don't know. Anything here? No. I am heavy, but that's more and slow, but that's mostly because I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep in the trailer. Okay, what have we got in here then? Scrap metal, we'll take that. We don't really need it, really, but. Firebook! Backpack? Oh. Check this then. Okay, then we should come to another room where the stim can be on the shelf, I believe, and then if it's not there, the stim will be by the entrance to Coastal Highway, next to a green box, kind of hidden behind the box. There are ten of these. That's enough. We'll leave the rest. I could take it. Coal is such a valuable resource on Interloper, but I don't really need that much of it um, for the moment. Uh, so I'm not. I'm going to leave it. If this was no go or something, I'll take it, but not on Interloper. Not this early in the game. So I'm not even cold. There we have. Yay, we have a lantern. Fantastic. Yeah. I like this though. Oh wow, something is wrong. What what is going on? Oh my god, I used a match there. What's going on with that? Why is it being weird? Maybe it's the mouse itself. I don't know. This has happened to me once before. I'll take it. It was years, uh, maybe like two years ago, three years. I don't know. It did happen to me once before on a stream. And I don't know what the issue was, but it just would not click properly. I think I did use some matches. Yeah, I did. So I used four matches. And it was really an issue with the bow, especially, because if I would aim at the wolf, and then it would just disable the aim, and it was a real pain. Uh, I don't know what's going on now. But we'll see. Uh, not big here, I guess. Nothing here. Arrowheads. Oi, 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 thermal underwear. That's a random lucky spawn. Yeah. Uh, anything else around here? No. That's a good find. Hey, tools. Which we also don't need, but we'll take it for now. But yeah, in general, you want to always pick up the coal because uh, coal gives so much heat for its weight. Like, it weighs 0.25 kilos for each. I think that's what it weighs. Point thirty, sorry. Uh, and then when you put it on, it gives plus twenty degrees. So one piece of coal, but this gives plus twenty, right? A stick gives plus one. So one of these, one of these is the same as twenty of these. That's how strong this is. Of course, the burn time is something else. If you put twenty sticks on. It will burn longer than one piece of coal. But you know me, just like I said with clothing, what I care about is the temperature, not so much the duration. So being warm is more important than the duration of the fire. Uh, there are exceptions to this, of course. Uh, for example, if you know you're going to have a long cooking session, a forging session, you might want to have stuff that burns for long rather than things that burns warm. Uh, you need, you need some. Uh, uh, coal anyway to do that but yeah so but it's very good because then you should always carry in my opinion you should always have two pieces of coal on you on a per on the person just have it on you it will weigh 0.6 that's it why because if you're outside and then you get trapped in a blizzard and it becomes minus 30 you go you find some shelter you're lost you're in a blizzard and it's minus 30 degrees or something make a fire and then put those two pieces of coal on boom it's now plus 10 degrees for you and you're warming up but then you can actually go around uh find shelter and warm up what is going on with this well, it worked but uh, i don't know what's what's up there 
this is the mouse or what? It wasn't like this earlier today though, I think. I'm not sure what that's about. Hmm, I think they did change it because normally here there would be a green box and then the stim would be behind the box. But there is no green box there. And there is no stim. Hmm, so maybe this stim has been moved. I don't see it. Could have been somewhere else that I had dismissed, of course. Possible. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that stim is no longer there. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's head to this trailer that's down here. Now, we're still going to loot stuff on the way to the forge. But, because we already have found the hacksaw and the hammer, there's nothing we really need. The main thing we need is saplings. So we're going to find that. Actually, I think we might sleep in the tower instead of the... Um, instead of the trailer. It's windy, but I don't think it's too windy. Minus nine. There is a theory going around which so far seems correct to me. That if the wind chill is roughly minus 17 or higher, then the torch blows out. Then the wind is strong enough to blow out the torch. So if I go here, for example. Now it's minus nine. They won't blow out the torch. And I tested this a few times, and um, sure enough, like whenever it's like minus 14, minus 15, the torch doesn't blow out. But when it's 17, sometimes 16, it blows out. So it seems pretty concise to me. But uh, the, I, some people have shown me cases where this did not happen. It blew out Anything. earlier, uh, or sometimes even later. And we think. That might have to do with like the air temperature around it affecting it, but we don't really know that, so. So it's not necessarily that straightforward. But as a general rule, it seems to work. That kind of like 16 degrees is kind of like the. That's the crossing. <sighs> How many torches are left? Okay. Okay, this time it worked. I don't know what that's about. So if you go out and there is a strong wind, you can check the strength of the wind and it should give you an indication of whether the torch will blow out or not. If you want to be safe though, if you don't have that many matches or this is your last torch or whatever, um, then, okay, now it's dying down. What you could also do is before you go out, so say you're in a cave system and then you suspect there might be a blizzard on the other side, right? If you go out with your torch and there's a blizzard outside, the torch is going to blow out. So you're forced to light it again, either then or later, using a match, right? However, if you instead, before you exit, you light a fire in, in, in the cave, provide, uh, and, and li light a campfire. Okay, provided that you can actually do that. If you're in a mine, maybe the mine won't allow it, but maybe you'll have a second torch or something. And if so, you drop your torch, light the next torch, or light a fire, and have the f put a couple of sticks on the fire, take a torch, and then head outside. And then if you go outside and you see that, oh, it's, it's a blizzard, and it blows out the torch, then you can just say, oh well, I'll just go back inside, and then you still have your fire going with the fire inside. And then you just, uh, you can maintain the fire there. If you have the fuel, you can just keep that fire going until the visit ends. If, if, you, if not, then, yeah, then you're probably <laughs> in a bit of trouble anyway. But if you came through a cave or a mine, then most likely you would have the, uh, the resources for that anyway. Okay, so here's, we're kind of coming up to the, the lookout tower. I think I will light the last torch as well, because it would be nice to light a fire up there. I'm not sure if we'll actually have enough duration to do that, though. We can try. 
Need two of these. Okay, don't fail me now, mouse. That used a match, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it did. I don't know what's going on with that. It's, I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's just my mouse acting up. I don't know. That's <laughs> just <laughs> normally <laughs> you wouldn't use a uh, match unless I used I used five matches now five. Normally I would have used one. I don't know. I have to look into that, but I don't think it was like that earlier. So um, I think it might be just me loading up the game or something. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I did use I used this mouse up, uh, earlier, and I played Overwatch, and it was fine. Uh, I think it's just loading up the game is a bit buggy right now, or something. I don't know. I could need a horse. Okay, here we are. We got some stuff here I can see, but I'm gonna light a fire first. Uh, use that. I'm mostly lighting a fire to get more torches, but also to cook a couple of things. Because I found some peaches and whatnot. Okay, let's put on uh, the wood. At least two of those woods. And then we can... Uh, we got... This, okay, I said a couple things. It's really just one thing. There we go, and we can uh, just harvest this torch. And we could actually just map this, I suppose. Let's do it. it takes 15 minutes. There we go. Okay, that's done. Grab a torch. That's a bad torch. Hold on. Hold on. Especially. That torch is not the greatest either, but take it. These are not great torches. I would like to have one more, I think. And oh, that's good enough. All right, let's have a look around here. What does this corpse have? Nothing. We got a rope here, which we longer. don't need. We have a book, cupboard. Nothing in it. Anything under? Note. The rope we can use to attach the anchor, but we don't really need to do that. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. No. But then it's time to sleep. Um, we c let's have some food first. Let's have the eat these ones. Peaches are so heavy. I need these, and also if I get food poisoning, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to eat this too. I'm gonna eat these, or drink these rather. Just have this too, this is okay. And this one too. And we should get well fed soon. Have a drink. And we can't read because it's too late in the day. We don't need these. Quite a lot of water and stuff, but that's okay. Alright, we're gonna sleep 10 hours. We should be okay here, because we are indoors, and we're also warm to begin with, so... Should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. Let's... Drink that. I think we are approaching the... Uh, haven't we? Yeah, we're like two hours away. So if I sleep now, 
should get well fed after because I think I went well fed right away. So when I wake up, it'll be like a few minutes in game minutes. There we are. Oh, actually, we got it right away. Well fed. Nice. Still heavy, but you know, just barely. That's okay. That's mostly because we're carrying the hammer and this and that. Actually, I'm going to refuel this. You can actually repair it as well. Because, um... It doesn't really make much difference. But we're going to find more scrap metal in the forge, so that's okay. 69 is fine, yeah. Uh, we'll drop all this stuff somewhere else. Okay. We might as well just attach this. We don't need this rope. We might as well just do it. So we'll head down. And we can use the rope if we want to. But we don't need to. If you climb this rope down, you get to a few smaller houses down there. Down here. And this plateau here, right? And then there's some houses below. And there's a there's a cave here. But you you can climb down, of course, no biggie. But you can also just go down here. It's uh, it's not too complicated. Just kind of like follow the slopes. Follow the slopes. And it's pretty straightforward. It's not too complicated, as you can see. Go down here. I even took like a bit of a long way, I think. And there we go. There's a cave. Uh, I guess we'll take this. Okay. You got anything, corpse? No. And then here... It's pretty much the same thing. So you can take the, uh, the rope down if you like, but you can also just barely go down. As long as there's a tiny little you know, step, it's fine. There we go. Even if it was a fall, it's not a biggie. Hey, a backpack just laying out in the open. How about that? There used to be a corpse here. This stuff will come Down list. Here. Dog food, okay. There, there used to always be a corpse, but not anymore. Two burned down houses, two standing. Alright, let's have a look. How much can we see? Sure getting cold. We can see quite a bit. So let's have a look around. Got accelerant here. Uh here. Uh don't see anything. Let's have a look on the spray can here. Okay. Shoes. Under here, there is nothing. Can't see anything else, just like that. Grab a book, I suppose. Let's grab one book. Um. I guess that's it. Yes. Someone told me in a comment on my video that you need to check the boards go for the notes. But I haven't found any such thing. I think the notes look a bit different. Alright, let's go. Uh, Let's go to... how which way should we go? I think that we'll go down to the road rather than cross into the... Um, garage. Go this way instead. And down here. Yeah. Because in this bend down here... Yeah. There we are. Over here, over there is the... Um, 
I think it's called the fishing camp. Oh, no, log salt. It's called log salt. And then you have the aurora cave next to it. You got all these fishing huts. You also have to check. Wolves patrolling. Now here there's a car. There's nothing really to this car. Although it used to... S on low difficulties you can get jerry cans there. But I just want to check every car. I'm sure there'll be like uh, something in devices in one of these. I also need to get saplings, like I really need to get sap. I think, you know, there can be some birch ones over there. I wouldn't say no to some saplings before I start forging. But the forging itself takes like a whole day. So while you're forging, you might as well uh, have some saplings curing. They can be curing here in the garage. No, no worries. I need to go find them first. There's also some saplings above the garage. Probably worth checking those out. Could have done that now on the way here, but I guess we'll wait to do that. Let's see also if the moose is up. Ah, oh, that house is burned down. Alright. or bear around for the moment. Okay, let's have a look around here. I don't know why I checked the back seats. I just do. Thing. It's been checked now, is even more of a reason to indicate that you checked it. <laughs> okay, let's check over here too. And check all the cars. I don't know if there are mementos and interloper, but I think there are. Let's check. Nope. Oh. Back here. Okay. Ah, wolf. There. Okay. Let's check in here. It's a little bit dark, so we'll use this. Oh, yeah, now it's acting up again. Like where I'm clicking or something. I don't know. It's playing like I normally play. I'm not sure why it's being weird. Oh. I use the click uh, function to search, by the way, if you didn't know that. You can go in uh, settings. And you can change it so that when you loot stuff, you don't click and hold the button down. You just click once and it does it for you. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go here in options. Okay, and then you go accessibility. And then you see here it says interaction type. So the, by default, it's this, press and hold. Then when you loot something, you have to click and hold the button down. Uh, but I have click press. However, uh, here I have press and hold for struggle. So when I'm in struggle, it's hold the button down, which on average is, is worse. But you know. <laughs> and it says saving, but it's not actually saving the game. It's just saving the settings. Let's check all this stuff. Always quite a bit of loot there in Coastal Highway. And upstairs is a bathtub. Soup, nice. And that bathtub. Um, the bathtubs can have thermals in it. I already have two though. You can find long johns and climbing socks uh, on interloper, but it's extremely rare. 
In fact, it's so rare that I'm not even sure if it's intended or not. But I have seen it. Uh, not, not often. But it does happen. Let's see. Facebook cap. Uh, anything under the bed? If you're playing on Stalker, you should check under the beds because someone says rifles there. Uh, nothing here. We have enough water, so we don't need the toilet water. Yummy, yummy toilet water. Okay. Next place. Everything is burned down pretty much. Look at that. All the houses are burned down. Just just this one standing. There might be a house standing up on the hill also. And by the coast. Also check. Check the um didn't I'm not gonna check all the mailboxes just if I'm there anyway. Hey pry bar. I already have a pry bar, but that's good to know. Let's put it here. How is the condition? 84. We'll just switch them around. You can ruin a pry bar, it can be done. If you use it when it's low condition, it breaks. Check these cars around here as well. Basically, want to loot around the garage before I loot the garage itself. Damn. I'm freezing. So far, there's nothing in the visors. Blizzard! Let's check here first. Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to check here too. That's burned down too. Everything's burned down. What about over here? That one's standing. This one's burned down. This one usually is burned down to be fair. Let's just see in here too. Oh yeah, I see it's acting up again. Is it? I think it's just where I'm clicking or something. Hope nobody needs Raw this venison. That's great. Tempted to just eat it raw, to be honest. Saves the match. Especially with all this uh, waste of matches going on. With all this misclicking. The 
But look at how I used to have guaranteed matches here. I haven't found any matches so far. So far, anything in here? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You should check the bathtubs because you can find thermal underwear just laying around. This That's good. Handy. We already have two, though. Hey, matches. Um, it will write this. Down. I don't think that's a uh, spawn, though. But coastal house. Comes in handy though, considering that uh, I've been using so many matches. Alright, let's just also see. I think this house over here was burnt down, wasn't it? Uh, I believe so. Yes. There's one more house I have not checked, so let's just do that quickly. It's up here. Starting to feel numb. I'll have to check the mailbox while we're at it. The easiest way to find the house, if you are in a blizzard and you're not sure exactly what house I'm talking about, is to just follow the roads. And then it will eventually take you past this mailbox. And then up here. And you can see this is a road because of this thing. And then you just take a right at the top of it when the road kind of ends. So that should be any minute now. And it should be over here and to the right. Hey, yeah. So now the road actually continues over there to the left, but you can also go to the right. And then there's a house here, which of course is burnt down. So, yeah, <laughs> in this run, they're all burnt down except for two of them. So just two houses left standing, and that's it. That is something that's kind of rare. I have had it happen before, but usually there's more than this around. We don't need to have the lantern out. This just gives a little bit of extra warmth. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. We're not going to go far anyway, so... All right, then it's time to go into the garage. Not any sound actually with the blizzard. I need to get saplings, but I think I think we can do that in desolation point before we ha before we forge, because I think there are birch. There's always birch or maple on the way there. I'll find the other one somewhere else. All right, let's check the actual garage itself. Bedroll would be good. Wouldn't say no to that. Alright, let's see what we got in here. We got a shooting book. Nobody needs this anymore. We'll make this little base as well. with all of this stuff. At the moment, I think I would like food more than anything. You can see me going for the well-fed bonus right away, but if you go for starvation tactic, the food will last like three times as long. Okay. Do we go in here? Nothing. Okay. There's a note that's left behind. Okay, check these. I often use these for storage. Hey, whetstone. Ah, summer soda. Nice. Okay. Can. 
this as they usually. Okay, let's have a look around here if I missed anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, then we have that. Tools! Jerry can! We'll make this a uh, little base. Cloth. Cured gut. Okay. Won't see an owl to that. Let's have a look around here too. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at this. Trying to hide it from me, eh? I see you. Perfect. All right. Try to hide the hacksaw from me. And this. Okay. Anything in here? We have a summit solar. Uh, anything in here? Oh, quite a little bit of food around here. Ketchup chips. Not even counting the money. Check here. bedroll. T-shirt. Okay. I guess that's it. Let's uh, sort some inventory out. So let's also put uh, Miss Glute. Miss Glute. On God. Let's sort ourselves out a bit. We'll use this for storage. But first, food. So let's uh, eat this. We got enough food, so I'm not too worried about it. Now that. And then this. And let's just eat the cat tails, shall we? Get full, full belly. I'm gonna put some stuff away. I will sleep for like two hours so that this it can end. If we're still going after that, we'll do some reading probably. And I think one more. There we are. Okay, so now then. Go in here, so we, we don't need this much accelerant. So put two of these in. We'll put the books in, except for the cooking book. So we'll take that. Uh, we don't need this many teas. We have everything, so let's just put these in here. Some of these in here too. Clothing, put all of this in here. Uh, and all that's necessary. Here, uh, that's fine. We got two hacksaws, we'll take the best one. We don't need the jerry can. We don't need this, we don't need these. We don't need these either, now where we're going at least. Uh, this, we'll use these to refuel. That's all right, and then the gut, this. Guess that is it, yes. Put three of these in there. Put the feathers in there. I guess that's it. We need to make these. Maybe make do that quickly. There we go. Okay, and now we're not heavy anymore, except that we're you know sleeping. <laughs> Let's uh, sleep like two hours and just see.
Okay, the win has ended. I am going to leave, I think, and get some saplings on the way. Maybe some forging too. I don't know if I need as many sewing kits actually now that I think about it. Uh, put two of these in. Uh, yeah, we can keep these. We don't need this flare. Actually, I don't have any normal flares. I might take it just in case. Yes. Alright, let's go. So there should be some saplings. Well, they're not they're not always there. But there's very often saplings. Um, on Misanthrope Island. Oh, you wolf. Well, you stay away from me. I have the deer meat, which smells, so I'm attracting him. Uh, but over here, near the corpse, at least it used to be a corpse here, there can be birch saplings. And then it can also be uh, all the way over there, like kind of like over the netty entrance to Crumley Highway, there can also be more saplings. It would be nice if the wolf did not come after me. I do smell, but not that much. Okay, the bear is out. That's a little bit unfortunate where he's going because... Hmm, he's kind of blocking my path. Let's see if we can... Ah, uh... oh, here he comes. He smelled me already. <clears throat> Should really cook this so I can wait. Turn this down even more. Uh, uh. I think I can oh, we don't need that. Let's grab it. Let's actually take this and uh, drop it here so I can see it for later. the bear. We're gonna just go around the bear. Actually that I'm smelling means he deviated from his path. We could go and check out the rest of this loot but we don't really need to do it. Because what I really want now is saplings. And my understanding of the loot tables now is that some of it's fixed but some of it's also random in particular tools. So even though I found Hacksaw and Hammer now, I think it's a bit more randomized where they are. Uh, that's my understanding of the, the patch notes uh, from Hinterland. Which will be good, because that does make it more... Uh, well, it makes it less predictable to spawn an interloper, which is good. Uh, there used to be a corpse here. No corpse today, though. What about here? Saplings? No saplings. Okay. Let's check. Uh, I can see some saplings down there, though. Looks like birch. But what we really need is maple. We need maple. And also, I could use some more guts, but we can get that in uh, Desolation Point. But here comes a wolf. Uh, I don't know if I can avoid that wolf without lighting a torch. I guess I could. Let's go around like this. He can smell me, but he can also smell where I was, and I'm not there now, so. Let's give him a wide berth. Give the wolf lots of space. And if I'm lucky, he'll go for this doe instead. He is not, now he's coming for me again. Let's see what we got here. A quick look around these houses. For the most part. Oh, it's only all the way from there. Wow. Mailbox. Just in case he gets too close. We'll have this. He's 
suppose this corpse is still there. No. Have this ready. I did see some saplings over here though. But let's let's grab those and walk the dog in the meantime. It is possible to get to this island, but it's not really worth the effort. There's nothing there. So we got, looks like, four saplings. Is he still following me? He is. It would be nice if I didn't have to use a match. Let's see if we can grab these things. I don't know if we can in time. We'll try, though. So I, I knew he was close, but I thought maybe uh, he was far enough away for me to enter Crumbling Highway. But I guess not. Oh well. Oh. Uh oh. Can it be done? Can it be done? Can it be done? Outran the wolf. He magically disappeared. Would have been better to go back into the car or light a torch, but... I was faster than the wolf. This is still there. I would like to check... I might take this action. I would like to check the cave that's here, if I can. I might have to make a torch, actually. It's not windy anyway, so... Usually two walls around here. So you gotta keep your ears open. If you're not sure, just stop, and then the sounds will like reset, and you can hear them. Getting a bit windy. Not too bad though. Let's check. Um, let's look around. Doesn't look to be anything. Swing set. Got the basement. Check that out. Still don't have the bedroll, so we need to uh, sleep in probably the lighthouse. Pack is getting kind of heavy. This is the old Harris home or something, I think it's called. Let's look around here. Nothing really here, though. Literally nothing. How about in here? There isn't really much clothing I need, except for this. <laughs> I do need wool socks. <laughs> Alright, that's good. It helps. I guess another Mac. No, also trousers. Yeah, I need, I need trousers. Anything around here? I don't think so. Okay. Just in case. I haven't had any wolf howls, but there's usually at least at least one wolf here. Uh, usually two. I 
feel like the pry bar is just so loud now. Oh, there's a note in there. I think that's a regular note. Yeah. There's the wolves. And they can smell me, but I want to check uh, over here. There's a cave. And if I can light a fire there, I'll do it, because then I can grab the gut and also the the meat, because there's something a deer carcass there. Let's see if that's the case now. Let's see. We could do beach combing as well, but I don't see the point in doing that. No deer carcass that I can see. Unless... no. Oh, that might be a deer carcass. Okay, what have we got in here? We have... Looks like dog food. Pork and beans. And... Nothing. Quick look around here. Mm, no. Don't make sure I don't hear like wolf, wolf prints. Always tr try to go around corners with like a decent enough margin, then you'll be sure that. Uh, that if there is a wolf coming around the corner, then you have enough space to actually avoid the, the wolf. This is a nice sunset, like the green sunset. That's a really cool one. Very, very cool. Look at that. There's also something over there. Hmm. What have we got here then? Neither of these used to be here. Not that I remember, anyway. This is a dead carcass. Okay. We're going to light the fire here, because I want to cook the stuff that I have on me. Oops. Alright, let's see if my mouse works. It did. Let's light a fire. We don't really need any water or anything. I just want to cook the meat. Do not smell so much. And the later in the in the playthrough when you have the bow, I don't really care that much about whether I smell or not. But here it here it matters. Alright, let's put where did it go? Put you on there. And let's harvest this. We have a hacksaw so we can use that. Fifty-six, forty-four. Okay, so let's grab. Um, we can wait with that. I think thirty minutes. Okay, let's grab one of these. Mm, windy, but I'm in cover. Let's grab this. Okay, so how is this an hour? 40 minutes. And that's... 30 minutes, okay. Let's just eat it right away. 11 minutes is something I can cook while we wait. Uh, we can uh, cook this. We can also cook this. Uh, it does seem to have a decent uh, chance of food poisoning. Hmm. 
All right, let's uh, last time here. Grab these, grab that, put this on here. 38 minutes, good. Grab this. Let's actually put this on. Do more of these. Grab the hide. I don't really need it, but might as well start the process of this. And let's get the gut as well, because then we have the, the guts. Okay. Let's grab all this stuff. So we have two guts now and some food saplings. We need to be a bit careful about the wolves. I am a bit curious what this thing is over here. Is that a corpse or a carcass? Uh, it's not windy enough to blow out the torch, so I think we'll be okay from the wolves. Where's this? There you are. I thought I heard something. It's a carcass, but we don't really need anything from it, and also it's in a, it's in a bad position. Uh, oh, you can't get up it, really? Yeah, yeah. This wolf is running all over the place. Just don't attack me. Actually, while we're here, let's just check this cave quick. Will you stop running around? <laughs> right, that's the dead carcass that's usually here. Alright, let's see if we can avoid using a match again. Okay. There we go. And what's in here? Doesn't look like anything except for wood. Wonder if I can drop any of this okay. Gear. Well, let's keep going. There is a car I need to check. So far, the vices have turned out pretty much empty. Not a lot of secrets in there. If I missed anything and you spotted it though, don't be afraid to let me know. Because I do miss things. Even though I try to actively look and scan everywhere, I do miss things. Okay, so let's see here. We can take this little shortcut here. Uh, but I need to check the, the car, so it'll be like a semi-shortcut, I guess. Hey there, Barry. And the Barry's dead. <laughs> Anything here? No. Alright, let's go into the mines. How much coal and stuff do we have? We have 10. I don't think we need any more than that for the forge, but I think pick up a couple maybe. All right, let's see what loot we got in here. Usually here there's like a f mostly coal, uh, a couple lockers and things. Let's just lighten the load and have a drink. Man, rest soon. I'm and I would very much like to find maple if I can. I can think of a couple of places where it could be. But I'd like to find a maple before I do forging. There's a couple of places you can find a maple in Desolation Point, at least traditionally. So let's see if we can find that now too. Normally I just use a storm lantern here. But seeing as we have the torch lit, might as well do this. Coal mine number three. 
So in here you'd usually find uh, coal, there's a couple of lockers, some, usually some lantern oil. There's a path over here to the right, you used to have a corpse and you can find a storm lantern there. I'll pick some of this stuff up, I'm not sure if I actually need to use it. And nothing there now. I'll pick up some of the coal, not all of it. Because it's, uh, I'm gonna get heavy really fast. But I won't go out of my way, but if I see it and just walk across it, I'll take it. Right, so here they've changed this this box, never used to be here. Nothing in it though. Scrap metal. Uh, I don't see anything around other than some coal. All right, it's not a very big mine. This one, it's, it's not too big. We got a pry bar. How is our current pry bar? Ninety-two. I don't think I can be able to switch it then. Spray paint could actually be kind of handy now that I think about it because you can spray where you drop items. Just make sure you see it in the future. So this is a mine I've gone through many times because of Hopeless Rescue. Gotta make that last push through here. Quite a lot of coal to be found as well. I think I might need to actually make a campfire soon to get more torches. Just quickly check here if there's anything does not look like it. What we got here? Now I would like to explore some more here, but the problem is I'm really tired. I think I would like to get to the lighthouse and I will explore some more after that. Predominantly this maple. Actually, Ry Riken would be even better to go to because uh, we can. That's kind of like where the workbench is, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, maybe we'll blow out the torch, we'll have to see. I'm gonna take a shortcut down here. anything down there. Uh, let's head to the lighthouse. I don't know if I need to make a fire actually. Because I do smell a little bit because of the meat that I have. I could just eat it actually. But I also have the guts. That's the thing. This sounds like it would blow out. <laughs> Could sleep in the car actually. But I think let's head to the, uh, the lighthouse. As long as I can get to the bridge in the lighthouse, we'll be okay. Because then the wolves won't bother me. Here's the wolf. Another wolf ahead. This is why I wanted to have the torch. I'm very, very quickly checking the status menu there to ensure that I have uh, ensure that uh, the wind isn't too high. Oh, don't go that way. That's that's. In front of me. Let's see if I can do this without 
lighting of the fire. I think we should be fine. We'll check this car and that stuff after. We need to get to the lighthouse first so we can we can rest. And then we can loot some stuff. I also need to find Maple. I'm actually gonna go check Katie's corner first, I think. Uh, probably, because I think you can find Maple up there. Oh, this sounds very windy. Still not gonna burn out though. We should be fine from here. Famous last words. Yeah. I didn't have to sit down and make another fire. I don't have any torches now, but... That's alright. Worst case, I used a flare. down. It has a nice bluish hue to the sky now. Some people have said that that would indicate an aurora is coming, but I haven't seen such a pattern. It could, it could be true, by all means, but uh, I've seen the, the green the green sky and the blue sky and then it hasn't been a um, an aurora after that. So I don't think that's true, unfortunately. I'm not sure, though. Alright, let's see here, because um, there used to be a corpse here. It wasn't guaranteed, but sometimes there was a corpse out here. Uh, oh, there is there today. Nice. I guess we'll take this just for a cloth. Anything on you? No. Uh, I'll pick this feather up. But not that one. <laughs> But I won't be going back up if that happens. We'll make arrows and stuff back in one set. Alright, so let's check in here. What loot is there? Is there a stim here? Is the number one question. We'll need the book for the fire. This is one of those guaranteed, uh, hey book, I'll take it. guaranteed um, steam locations. These aren't anything on here now. So there's a guaranteed steam here normally, which is upstairs next to the bed. But let's see if that's there. It would be here. And it is there. And matches too. Uh, so let's do steam. On lighthouse, lighthouse. So two out of three stims so far have been found in Garen in the same place as before. Hey, herbal tea. Fun fact: if you warm this up, you actually level cooking because there's a found tea. Unless I missed the stim in the Cinder Hills mine, that stim wasn't there. Let's check this before we sleep. Check between crates and stuff. I don't trust Hintlin not hiding things from me. Upstairs, because outside, hey, cured leather and chips. Outside by the actual lighthouse, uh, there can be stuff. But let's see what we got there, if anything. Up here. Ooh, 
We've got a box. Nothing in the box, though. I'll go around here. On low difficulty, you can find some bullets just laying around here. And in Clope, though, not so much. Lighthouse. Have you seen the movie, The Lighthouse? That was a pretty good movie. I like that director. Ro Robert Eggers or something like that. Very ambiguous movies. Ambiguous movies are the best because then you can decide yourself what happened and you can analyze what's going on. Okay. So we're going to drop things to cure, which is this, 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 and that. Let's have some food. Uh, let's eat the steak. And this is how I drink. I'm going to go to sleep. Sleep 10 hours. Night. Uh, I'm not sure we'll sleep the other two hours. Okay, I think I'll just leave this to cure. Yeah, I'll just leave it to cure. It's not that big of a detour to to come Ugh, back here. Tongue feels like sandpaper. Let's eat this and this and this say and this. Alright, we're actually still heavy, but that's alright. Let's make some tinned out of this. Uh, let's actually sleep one more hour. Alright. Uh, and we can just, just to avoid being heavy, we can do this. <laughs> Hey, new music. Yeah. Alright, we'll come back for this. What I want to do now is, I want to look around. I want to find maple, first of all. And I want to do that before I start forging. If there is maple to be found, of course. I want to check Katie's secluded corner, I want to check Stone Church, I want to check the Bear Cave. Uh, anything really. Okay, we're not cold at all. And I'm gonna check these boats. I don't really need anything from them, but there can be hidden loot in there. They don't smell anymore, so I shouldn't attract wolves very much. But over here, there are some boats. There's two sets of them, I believe. And. It used to be you could find like a fish and some other stuff in these boats. So let's just have a quick look in case there's something hidden here. You never know. Let's see. I don't see anything here. How about here? No. No. How about here? This one has a fish in it sometimes. Not today, though. And this one, I guess, is nothing. Okay. Yeah, there's some boats over here, too. At least I think so. Uh, no, a wolf killed a doe. <laughs> that was a bit of a creepy sound. Hey, we got a little... Container here. I don't see anything. Okay. Let's head up to Katie's secluded corner. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's the wolf. It's up there. Let's see what we can find. There's another doe over there. What was that? That's a doe? I 
I guess it was the doe. Are you running right, right towards the wolf, though? What are you doing? That's the wrong way. No, don't do this to yourself. Okay, fortunately you had a wolf there that, um, that was not paying attention. You know when you watch National Geographic and whatever, like BBC Planet Earth? <laughs> You're always cheering for the animal that's in focus, right? So it's like, oh, the gazelle. Oh no, the, the, the lions are coming, you know. And they're like, oh no, run away, run, yay. You escaped, you know. And the next episode is, <laughs> okay, it's about the lions. Oh, the lions haven't been able to hold, hunt. If they don't catch this gazelle, you know, they'll die. Oh, starvation. And you watch it, go lion, go get that gazelle. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's survival for everyone. Perspective. Alright, so this is Katie's Katie's corner or Katie's secluded corner, something like that. Yeah, on lower difficulties you can find a bow up here. I think actually this is one of the I think this is one of the areas you can find the new bow. Uh, but that doesn't spawn an interloper, so. Katie's secluded corner. Alright. Alright, Katie, you got anything? There is a dead carcass, this is always here. Seems to still be the case. What else? We have beef jerky, a book, and anything else? I can. Let's map this, why not? Hmm, a corpse as well. Okay. And some wood, so I might as well take it. I'm heavy anyway. What about here? This is new. You got anything? Summon soda. Boots. Okay. Then let's just go down and we'll check the... Uh, this like road thing here. Uh, blocked highway, I think. Can be stuff here. I don't see anything though. No. Because we we'll spawn here on Dark Walker if you choose this as your starting location. Alright, so let's check the cars and Stone Church and we should check the mine too, but really what I want are maple saplings. Birch saplings are easy to find because they, they tend to have more visible spawn locations. And there's many of them as well. But maple is a bit more elusive. Sometimes you'll find two or three together, but usually it's just one. And they are not guaranteed usually as well. There are a few places where you can always find them though, like Winding River. You can always find them. All right, let's head to Stone Church. There's also the mine entrance. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go into that now, though. I think I'd rather take the mine entrance going back. And then, of course, you have Scruffy's Cave. You can usually find a bedroll. In the past, you could find a bedroll in Scruffy's Cave. Or Hibernia Processing. Not because of berries. We'll see if that's still the case. Hmm. Hey, speaking of maple. I almost walked past this, but there we are. Fantastic. But then we have everything we need then. We could start forging even. But forging can wait a little bit, I suppose, because it needs to cure. So I'm going to take this back to the lighthouse. Uh, or rather, I'm going to grab the stuff in the lighthouse, now that I have this, head to the Riken and dump it there. Because then this can cure in the Riken while we do some more exploration and things. So we can do that. Now we're actually warming up. Plus one degrees. 
sounds like it's a wolf eating a rabbit, maybe? Or the deer? Yeah, it's still eating the deer. You know, you should be hungry, or, or rather, you should be full now, Mr. Wolf, so you shouldn't hunt me after. More saplings. Definitely worth doing that. So maple is very often found off the beaten path, as you saw there. It's kind of like an unorthodox area, like a little path. Saplings though, are all over the place. I see if we got anything here. I mean, birch is all over the place, I mean. Grab this. Might as well do it. Why not? Uh, I don't think... Anything here? Hey, this is new. All right. I don't think I need to kill any rabbits yet, because the bow is two and one. Yeah. Let's check this car and head back into the lighthouse, grab our stuff, go to the Riken, drop the stuff there. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Just looting. Yeah, you ignore me. You go away. Nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna go back here just to collect our curing stuff, just so I can have it in the Riken instead. Because if I do decide to make stuff here, I can. Um, I can be close to the workbench. Now, there's no workbench in the Riken, but there is in Hibernia. But I can take him to Hibernia later. The wolf can actually follow you all the way to the lighthouse, but very often the wolf will give up around here. Because it can't see you, you're too far away. It kind of gives up. But it can follow you if you, if you try. It can follow you all the way. Kind of a clear day now. Love to have a flare shell for this thing. Okay, so we got Let's see, is the moose out? No. Oh wow. Alright, the aim sense is very, very high, of course. Uh, put that to like 30. Still way too high. Oh, we'll give it a try. Alright, let's uh, grab our stuff. I have low. Sensitivity settings, as you can see. Okay, we will be attracting wolves now because I'm carrying this stuff, but that's alright. Should be fine. And I might as well pick up this feather that I saw. <laughs> Just for arrows. Down here there was a feather. That's another one. And here's one. We might as well just head down here, and while we're here, we might as well check... Ow! Check beach coming. Do this, because, uh... I would like to not... limp around. 
Don't see any. I don't think they have changed the beach coming yet. And at least I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, well, let's head to the Riken. We'll drop some stuff there, including our coal and our wood and everything. And then we can go and we can look around some more, loot, loot the rest of this area. And uh, then the stuff can cure while we do that. And then after we looted everything, we can come back. We can forge. Yeah, this is quite a small area, so it doesn't take very long to loot. Uh, it looks like a dough over there and a, and a buck. You can also find saplings over there on that island. And you can find saplings by the bear cave, which I guess we'll check out. Matt's truck as well. Eventually we'll probably move this into Hibernia, I guess. So how many feathers have I found? Eleven. So we can make three arrows at least. I'll probably find some more feathers. From all the corpses and things. And then we can make some uh, arrows and then we can make some more in the garage because there's more feathers there. If I had found maple earlier, I could have left some in the garage or something and they come back there, but that's all right. The fact that this distress business is empty does change it a little bit. Because usually you'd have this as protection, but now, you, now we don't. No bear around that I can see. No corpse either. All right, let's see what we got in here. Alright, so first, how much scrap am I for? Let's also refuel this. Nice. Don't know if you need it now, but... Aha! Uh -huh, this is new. I'm actually gonna light it. I like lighting things when I'm searching for stuff. Uh, because even if you can see, there's always something hidden, you know? We can also break down these things for more scrap metal. We're not going to do that right now, though. We'll do that later. Check out these things. Okay. Uh, let's just drop our stuff here. So here we go. Then they hide. This whole bunch of saplings and two of these six days it takes a little while. And in here, we can just drop all our coal. two of them. And we can also drop these. And while we're looting and looking around, I like to use this as storage and put whatever I don't need in here. So like this, for now at least. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. We can put that in there, I guess. And also this. Uh, I guess we can just carry the rest around, I suppose. We could put this in here. Uh, let's just carry it around just in case. Don't need this. Alright, let's uh, check out the rest of the boat. Sorry, ship. And we got here... We got... A book. Sewing book. Tinder. Yeah, there's usually some food hidden in between things. They remove that. Seems like they did. All right. What about here? Let's check the pilots, like the captain's cockpit or whatever. The bridge. That's it. The bridge. Hey, this is new. Hey, scrolled message. Nice. Okay. Well, this is. 
Check this first. A Riken. So what is this? A memento with a survival hint. No ship came. No use to me where I'm going. I leave it to you. All right. Right, next to Hibernia Processing, Memento Cache. Okay. Key. Key to a lockbox. Alright, we need to check that out for sure. Very, very nice. Uh, we can drop this book off as well. We can also make ourselves lighter by eating something. I don't think we need to go for starvation tactic. We, we might have to do it while forging is the only thing. Depends how much food we got. Uh, we got some, but I might surrender the well fed here. I have to see. Because um, I don't have that much food, and I need at least like two days' worth of food for forging. I might, might leave it. We'll see. See how we get, how we get on. Okay, there's the first memento found. Uh, let's check, or oh, rather well, the clue to it. Let's check out this truck over here. Oh, let's also do this. Uh, I can bridge. I get the imprisonment. This is the first mentor I found. Uh, I think. But, um,. I get the impression from other survivors that it's uh, it's fixed. They're always the same place. So I don't think there's any cattails here. So in uh, Destination Point, actually, there's no cattails. Does Matt's truck? Does Matt have anything for us? He's, oh, he does. Scrolled message. A memento with survival hint. These look for your brother and his friends. I don't know what to do. That is by the bear cave, I think. Well, actually, this could be... Uh, that could actually be by the waterfall. Alright. That'd be interesting to check out. Oh, that was cool. So there was a scrolled message there. Interesting. Uh, doesn't look like they change anything here. I said it doesn't look like they change anything here. <laughs> it's so loud. In Ibernia we have to look carefully. Because we undoubtedly change some stuff there. Single piece of grass, just like doing its thing. Okay, up here you can get the moose spawn. Uh, this is one of those areas where the moose can spawn, even if you don't have moose markings. It spawns there on this bridge. At least it will be until I change it. Don't be here now, though, please. That would be preferable. Nothing here. Good. Alright. Let's check out Hibernia and also see if we can find this memento. Another good Mor Mori. Wow. Movie. Memento. I think I'll have this out in case a wolf shows up. So the memento itself is... That's kind of like to the side. Okay, I have to have a look for that. We're not cold, so we can always map things. Let's check the boats. Anything in the boats? Yes. Dog food. Nah, what about over here? Okay, I'm there. No. Hibernia processing. There's sometimes a box over here. Let's see if that's still there. No. 
All right, let's check out this. I think we might need the storm lantern for this. Uh, anything here? Oh. I don't see anything. Redstone. Slightly glitched in order to grab the storm lantern before it actually leaves. Uh, doesn't look to be anything. Lantern fuel, we'll take it. Box. Locker. see anything. Alright, uh, so let's get our bearings a little bit. Yeah, out there. It was actually here then. That's, that's by the pier. Okay, I'll check that out. Let's also check inside these things. I don't remember there being anything here before on Interloper, but you never know if they put something there now. Check out the after. They assume Is that it. That's a bone. <laughs> I assume it's on or under the pier or this train. I assume it's an actual lockbox. I'm guessing it's under here. Or out here. I don't see anything though. I did find a note, because uh, I haven't played Interloper normally, but I did go on Tomb of Mountains to see if I could find a Spelunkus thingy, which I didn't. And there was a Memento there. I, yeah, this is actually this, not the first. I did find one Memento, and I couldn't find a cache. What's this? Oh, a fish just laying around. This will come in handy. I mean, we'll just take it, I guess. So where is the lockbox? Let's do another test. See how close or far away we are. So, I'm standing here. And now that means I am... Here. Okay, so it should be, like, up there then. Or oh, under there. I don't think it is under here though. It must be under the train cart? I guess. Unless it's not actually precisely in the location. The Memento itself didn't give any clues. Now, if you're watching this, maybe you actually know where it is because you have found it yourself. i drop this while I look. Uh, I think mean, it must be under here somewhere then, right? It must be something you can find, but you need a key to open it, I assume. It's this thing. I am confused. Where are you? Is it really that hidden? That you can't see it by like looking around where it's supposed to be? Be weird if that's the case. I'm 
looking and looking. Is it really not there? Hmm. Very strange. Nothing like around there. Or... Hey. I don't see anything. Hey. Why can't I? There it is. I see it. It's in the actual train cart. There it is. Found you. What you got for me? This Marine flare? Me. Marine flare? Marine flare? Flare shell that turned invisible. Flare shell, well, that's a bug. But I think these usually invisible items indicate that it's a bug. That it's not meant to be there. Like, for example, finding bullets and stuff. In this case, because it appeared and then disappeared again, I think that's intended because there's a visual glitch going around at the moment. All right, sweet. So three marine flares. Let's actually write that down. Let's do it differently. Marento, Riken Bridge, and Matt's truck. So I think Riken Bridge uh, was actually this one, wasn't it? The three X marine, marine flare, two X shells alright now we have actually some defense against uh, wolves and bears so that's really really good we can actually def defend ourselves now in case we get suddenly ambushed we got this we could also hunt something if we really wanted to but I don't think that's necessary lockers Lockers. Thing there. Let's get so many marine flares. I mean, there aren't even timber wolves here, you know. Just give me regular flares instead. Okay, used, this used to be guaranteed matches. As in, there was a guaranteed match spawn here, but... Let's see if we can find anything today. I'll see if I maintain well fed or not. I have to consider it. I could try and kill the bear. I don't see the point though. Okay. Before we check the office, let's check here. You can see some dog food. Okay. See anything here? How about over here? We got this. No matches. All right. Oh, a storm lantern. Well, this stuff will come in handy. And we'll take it because you can always switch them if I run out of stuff. You can also get the. Oh wow, coffee! Nice. Uh, you can also get lantern oil by harvesting a storm lantern if you harvest it you get the oil i'm not sure if you need the jerry can i don't no i don't think so you just get like regular lantern fuel all right i never done it like and why would i harvest it hey there are matches here all right i burn you I don't write it down, I'll forget. I'll be like, oh yeah, you know, I'll remember later where I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I found it there. And then later I'll be like, where was that again? It was like in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Especially the unexpected ones. It's the sort of thing that in the beginning, when you start playing this game, you don't really pay attention to those sort of things. I need to find but in time, you start paying attention to it. Because there's a pattern to be found. At least for some things. Oh, dog food. Okay. Looking around, we'll take this because we can use it for fire. I would do anything for a drink right now. I put that away. I did not. I'm looking around everywhere, pretty much. I 
this is a perfect place to hide something. I think. We need to look for whatever stands out here. see anything though. I do like the idea though that uh, some things are random now in Intelob. It was a bit too predictable. Oh look at that. I don't think that... Can I reach it? I, think I can just barely not reach it but is it really suggesting that I break this down? Crawl in there? I don't think so. Yeah I actually can't reach it. Oh no. No. What about... Can I step on top of this? Maybe I can. I'm just a bit worried that I won't be able to get back up. No, I don't think so. I think this is meant to be broken down. Like, you have to break this down. No, we could do it in the morning. Because we need some more scrap anyway. The thing is, those green ones, the containers, don't, don't usually have guaranteed loot in it. There's a couple of uh, a couple of containers here and there that will have things like, um, like Polaroids and things in it. For the most part, those things just give random loot. I'm looking. I'm a looking. Hey, Priva. That's my condition. 86. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, is there a backpack over here still? So we can see it. There is a backpack, I see it. There it is, right there. Yeah, that's a backpack. But, uh,. We're not going to go for that. Okay, let's check out here. Hey, coffee. How about that? I'll take it. Sardines. Uh, bandage. What's that? Advanced guns, guns, guns. Alright, well. That might be useful for later, so I'm gonna write that down. Guns, guns. Burning a secret. Uh, that's completely useless on Interloper, but. Uh, I just write these things down because it might be useful to know for stalker. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Let's see here. What we got? If anything, we got a safe, of course. And let's open the safe. Okay, house four. Four and ten. Four and ten. And fourteen, okay. That was an easy one. Gunpowder. Alright. I think I can use this. Canada money. <laughs> and that's it. Yes, it's called it's called Can Canada Money is the is the real name. <laughs> Actually, let's just use this up, and, and then we can uh, just refill the other one. Uh, anything else? We got this, whetstone. And I would drink almost anything about now. Flare. I think that is it. 
I think it might be too late to harvest this thing. We could try though. I think it's gonna get too dark, but we could try. Um, I think for now I'm gonna keep the well fed because it's close to sleeping anyway. So just to see this and we'll go from there. All right, let's see. I think it'd be too dark, but we'll try. Ah, okay, we got it. Nice. Okay, well, on to adventure then. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. If this is not new, I've never noticed it before. That was totally worth it. <laughs> It'll be the same with this backpack here. If we break this down. Uh, you have to break both of these down. Anything. And what's what's the point? We got some scrap metal though. I think we will sleep here. Uh, actually, we might not sleep here. We'll sleep in the trailer. Because there's a couple small places we haven't looted. So there's a blizzard. Oh, that's noisy. But an upside of a blizzard is that the animals are not out. So, especially this early in the game, it might be prudent to look around a little bit. We might get the other memento cache, for example. Those are tired, but not that tired. Ah, there's a bed in here. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, there might be some food in Scruffy's cave. Come in handy. Get on smithing. In which case we could go in there. We're not that tired. So let's just maintain well fed for now. We'll eat that. check the car out as well and I think we'll look for the memento it's cold but it's not that cold you see yeah there's something here too wow we used to go here to get out of town before the quakes it was some piece anyway oh, that's Kaylee's corner okay Truck in Hibernia. The research run. Three mementos in this area? Wow. I don't mind if this thing burns out. It's okay. Um, I might leave well fed. We'll see because also. Um. When you forge, you'll probably gain it back afterwards. I'm just maintaining it now because I'm so close to going to sleep anyway. Alright. Anything in here? First aid kit. So... Let me just quickly see if we can close this. The There was a memento up here. I think that's outside Scruffy's cave. We need to have this out because even though it's a blizzard, the, the bear could be sleeping in his cave or some such. We're going to head to Scruffy's cave. But first I just want to check quickly down here. Uh, you probably can't see much, but there should be a locker down here. Uh, where are you? 
Somewhere around here. Ah, we can find it later, I suppose. This leads to the bear cave. Which also can have uh, saplings by it. Shouldn't be too far. Should be here. There's the broken bridge. I think there's one car here as well. There's the cave. See, yeah, there is a car here. All right. Break can. Oh, that bugged. It was empty. I assume so. Yeah. Yeah, let's just quickly see here. Is there uh, anything in this cave? Uh, it's a sapling. There is a bear in here. I can shoot it. You in here, Mr. Bear? No? Well, we're gonna head to Scruffy's cave. Uh, I think maybe we can go down here. Never done it this way actually, but I think it can be done. Uh, that looks kind of steep. I think it can be done though. A little bit hard to see because it's so dark, but I'm pretty sure this is doable. Okay, so, we're approaching Scruffy's cave. But the memento thing looks like it's outside of it, near the waterfall. So I think that it's around here. So here's Scruffy's cave. And I think it's around here, this memento lockbox thing. Let's look for it. I think it's somewhere around it. The other one was pretty well hidden, I must admit. But this one probably will be too. I think it's somewhere around here. Another waterfall, maybe? a can I don't see anything Rob's end um. hmm. might have to come back here uh, I think we'll just lose well fed. Or we'll get well fed back. I don't think. I don't see anything. Hmm. If it is here, and I assume it is, I'm not sure where it would be. Oh well. We'll have a closer look a bit later then. Let's see if Scruffy is home. I think we need to light a torch. Actually, no. I'm going to light... ...this. And I just gotta listen closely to Scruffy. If Scruffy's home, you'll hear him. He'll be, he'll be wolf walking about. Especially because I smell.
Okay, I want the food, so I'm gonna light a torch. It smells... Oh, the fish. Okay, Scruffy is home. I'll take care of it. This is one of three indoor wolves in the game. You can tell this is a not a friendly place because of the uh, well, the cash because of all the bones and everything. We'll warm Come up on. and get some food though. Come on. I'm not to worry about the well-fed thing. I'm gonna gain it back when I do forging, or after I do forging. To make sure oh, I can yeah. preserve my resources a bit here. Okay, let's put on reclaimed wood, sure. And let's harvest two pieces here. I don't think Scruffy is home, I think Scruffy would have been here by now. We don't really need anything else. Man, I could use a drink. So let's grab a torch or two while we look for the rest. Okay. So then there is the atrium. I think Scruffy would have made a noise by now if he was home. Is a torch making noise? I think. So up here in the past, you sometimes found the bedroll. You can also find a gun here on, on Stalker. So this is a place that people usually don't go to. But you can find good loot there. Okay, so we have. Yes! We have the bedroll. Sweet. And a fish. Wow. It may be a uh, nice bedroll. Wow. Scruffy is home. Jeez. I didn't see that, Scruffy. Talk about scary. Scruffy is indeed home. Stuff will come in handy. Yeah, well. You stay there, I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna harvest all your food, Scruffy. Like don't don't mind me. I want this food as well. <laughs> Go away, Scruffy. I'm busy lighting a fire, and I can't cancel. Come on, little fire. <sighs> we can't really deal with Scruffy right now. Because we don't really have any weapons. I do have this rest pistol, of course. Go away. You're kind of freaking me out, Scruffy. See, it's kind of hard to deal with because you're in a space where you need a light source. And if you have a torch and then you drop it and try to kill Scruffy with the bowl or the rifle or something, then he'll just, he'll just run away. 
So he's actually kind of tricky to kill. He's one of the hardest uh, the wolves in the game to kill, I would say. I actually only killed Scruffy once before. Only once. Because he very often doesn't spawn. And when I killed him, he never came back. He was a one-time wolf. I think the fire on the other side I won't burn my food. I hope not. Let's have a look at this. 39. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, Scruffy, I need to check on my fire. So, could you, like, excuse me for a little bit? Yeah, 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 go that way. So I need to check over here. I have a bedroll now, but I'd rather not sleep in here with you. I just want to make sure this isn't getting burnt. Yeah, Scruffy's a bit scary, so... If you have a weapon, and you want to kill Scruffy, one way you can do that... Oh, it burned out. Did it cook, though? Oh, the fish got destroyed. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Ruffy, leave me alone. Wow, are you just really you're like worse than sketchy? Close that one. And once we're close enough to the campfire, it won't make a difference. Hey, mini branch. Look, Scruffy, I'm taking your food. You just gotta deal with it. Okay? I might not like it. Probably worked hard for this food. But it is what it is. Thanks for the bedroll, though. I really wanted that. I am a bit reluctant to pass time, because if I do, he might attack me. If Scruffy's or if Eddie Wolf is like running around and you pass time, then at least we can be, be okay. But if they've detected you, if they can smell you or they've seen you or something, then it's a bit scary. Look at that. Isn't that a bit creepy? There we are. Just like, yeah, it's just another day in the office. It's just a, a wolf standing there. <laughs> Is this cooked now? Just need to refuel, put a coal on this thing. Done. Cook that. And we might as well make a liter of water. This could be a good, like, screen thingy. There we are. This is just another day at the office, keeping Scruffy at bay. So this is actually a good little lesson. So you notice how Scruffy doesn't do anything? He's just standing there. And he's going to do that the whole time. He's going to stand there. And then the moment that this campfire burns out, he's going to attack. Because there are a couple differences between different fire elements. So. When you have a campfire, the wolf will never attack. Unless it by accident gets too close because it turned a corner or something. But he, he's just going to stand there and growl. He'll, he'll never break this phase. The same applies to starting a fire. You may have noticed that I was lighting a campfire when Scruffy noticed me. And he was growling and he stood there. So 
I have never been attacked by a wolf while starting a campfire, so my understanding of that is that starting a campfire is the same as having a campfire. The wolf will not attack you. So that's like a trick you can use. A flare is the same as a campfire. So I have a regular flare here and I have a marine flare here. And they work exactly the same way as a campfire. They are basically mobile campfires. All right, Scruffy, let's, uh, you're making a lot of noise. The flare is basically the same thing. Ooh, the lighting effect, this is so good. So a flare is basically the same thing as a campfire. Is this a mobile campfire? Regular flare, marine flare doesn't make a difference. Marine flare is only relevant in terms of uh, timber wolves, really. But yeah, they work exactly the same way. The wolf will not attack you as long as the flare is lit. It will work exactly like a campfire. They'll just stand there and look at you. However, uh, some things that are different is things like the lantern. Lantern does nothing. Doesn't matter if you have it on the ground. If you light it and place it down here, it, it won't. It won't do anything. And uh, torches are also different. So a torch will stop a wolf charge, but they, it won't keep them at bay. So if the wolf is growling, if you have a torch and the wolf stops like this. You have to aim a weapon at it. That can be a stone, or it can be something else. It doesn't really matter. But you have about... Uh, I can't remember exactly. It's like a five second window to do an action like this. And then the wolf will run away. If you don't do that, the wolf will attack you. And then of course we have uh, matches which don't do anything either. So, use uh, a torch to scare it away. But, but use flares or campfires to keep it at bay. So that's like a little proverb for you. Torches keep them away. Campfires and flares keep them at bay. Let that proverb be something to sway. I'm going to wait until this burns out. If I pass time now, if I wait for this to boil, Scruffy can attack. So if you pass time while the wolf is... Uh, growling like this, you can risk that he attacks you. So, if I st instead scare him away though, like this, and then I pass time, it's okay. That's something you can do if you know you're going to harvest something for like an hour or something. I can barely walk with this much gear. Uh, you could always uh, scare off the wolf. And then uh, go. All right, so we're gonna take. Uh, it's a bit of a bad torch, but that's all right. Worse. I see sketchy coming though. Yeah, you don't like that torch, do you? I'm gonna chain torches against you, Scruffy. I'm very, very slow though. Scruffy. <laughs> oh, come on. He ruined my mittens and my jeans. I think he's trapped between things. But there, the torch didn't actually scare him. I think also we may have bugged him out a bit because of the uh, torches here. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, now the question is, do we risk it by just walking past Scruffy? If you move an inch, I will shoot you. Ah, 
I am serious. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Okay, thank you. Scruffy. Good thing I had the hammer. Wait a minute. Why didn't the um He's bugged out. I think it's the torches. The torches are messing up with his uh his pathing. He's I think he's trying to navigate between the torches. I think that's what's happening. Gosh, that's freaky, Scruffy. That's freaky. Stop it. I know I smell and everything, but... You're like going through the antlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Scruffy is a bit of a menace. He is a menace. He's very persistent, because you're in his territory, you're close to him, at the moment walking very slow. He's kind of hard to kill, so the way I usually kill him is I place the lantern down to get light, and then I shoot him when he gets too close. That's usually what I do. Alright, thanks Scruffy. Well, kind of. Let me have a quick look around here. Uh, let's drop some heavy stuff. Like, I just want to be able to look for uh, this thing. Now we're tired and everything, but so this is. I mean, it looks like. Can I do this? I don't think so. No. It might not be here, but it looks like it should be here next to this cave here. Kind of like, more or less directly out of the cave actually. Like, over here. Might have to come back and look for this thing. May not even be here, but I assume it is here. They're quite well hidden, I must say. Let's have a quick look around here again, in case I did miss it. see anything. Damn it, Scruffy. Why'd you mess up my mittens? And my wool took. Good thing I found this stuff. Really slow now. We need to get indoors and heal a bit. We looted most of the area now. I don't know where this memento is though. I'm gonna go find that. See, back in the cave there, what, what would be the safe thing to do there? If you're very invested in your run. When that thing happened with uh, Sketchy there, Scruffy, sorry. Sketches a different one. Uh, you can see he was very persistent, but there were several things I could have done. So when he actually did attack me, I threw the torch at him rather than aiming a weapon at him, which caused him to attack me. Because the torch, scaring away with torches don't always work. It usually does though, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure if that's just like a glitch, like it just didn't register properly or what. Sometimes it's got to do with the proximity. Like if you throw the torch and it doesn't land correctly, it doesn't scare them. In this case, it could have been that. It could also have been that the wolf just didn't get afraid because um, uh, there were other torches that messed it up, you know. But what I could have done there, just like aimed it with the stress pistol 
that would have been the smart choice because then if the wolf does attack for whatever reason let's just sustain this a little bit if the wolf attacks for whatever reason then at least um, you can defend yourself with the stress pistol potentially even kill the wolf so that would have been the smart thing to do okay We are going to make our way back to base. Did it really burn all of that time? I guess it did. Oh, come on. Fine. Fine. We're doing this. Get over here. You're dead. Congratulations. You brought it on yourself. I'll find you in the morning there. He's dead. You see the blood on, on the floor? That means he's dead. Also, I think the flare got stuck to him. He's dead. He's gonna bleed out. He can reset though. It, it does happen that the bear resets and he's still gonna bleed out and die. But he can reset and uh, thank you for the light by the way. That's, that's nice. But yeah, he can reset uh, and just start walking normally. But if he does... Um, then he'll still bleed out. Let him go. Yeah, I hear you. How are you? You're the Hibernia wolf. Where's the bear gone? We'll find the bear in the morning, or rather the next day. Because I need to sleep to recover health. I would like to sleep in the bed in the Hibernia processing, but it really doesn't matter that much. I think we'll sleep in the trailer. It's this closer. This is very, very slow. Now, I couldn't sleep in Scruffy's cave because Scruffy was there. You could still do it, though. Like, you could uh, prepare everything, put the bedroll down, scare Fluffy... Oh, what's this? You could just scare him away. And then go to sleep. Then you probably will be fine. But do you really want to go to sleep in a cave that's inhabited by a wolf? Not really a good idea. But there's many other things that could have been done here. So instead of doing what I'm doing, uh, walking slow and carrying stuff, we're going to... We're gonna get well fed back, by the way, because we have a lot of food now. And also, we're gonna we're gonna kill the I mean, harvest the bear. Uh, I could use a stim to just get back here faster. That would have been an alternative, for example. Uh, I could have uh, lit a fire and slept near the cave. There's all sorts of things I could have done. All right, let's go in here. And let's sleep here. I don't think... Did I grab any curing stuff? Oh yeah, a sapling here. Yes, we're going to sleep here. Uh, we're going to forgo... Let's look at the bed. We're going to harvest this thing. <coughs> Alright, so how warm are we in here? Warm enough. Okay, so I'm going to eat. But I'm going to also... Let's eat this. I'm gonna drink I'd eat these. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Do another one of these, and then I'm gonna drink the herbal tea, and that should heal me quite a bit. Now you'll see, I have twenty-six percent health. Okay, I sleep ten hours, so twenty-six, and let's see how much we have when we wake up. Eight 
83. <laughs> or rather, that might have been what we had when we got mauled. Yeah, that's what we had when we got attacked, so it's not quite correct. I would say it's more like 80. I can't actually tell. Uh, but yeah, we regenerated something like 50% or something like that. Quite a bit. Okay. So, uh, and we're gonna get Wellhead back because we have so much food now. And also the bear is out there somewhere. So we're going to just return to getting well fed. So we lost it, but it doesn't take that long to get it back, it's fine. Have a piece of this too. Let's drop some stuff that we don't need. And also I'd like to find this memento. Wherever that is. We'll go... Also, we need to find the bear. The bear is somewhere. Uh, I don't know if we'll find him today. We might find him the next day. I'm gonna drop some stuff in here. This will be like another base. What's that? Oh, that's a little thing. A uh, box. Nothing there. Okay, let's go inside and just drop a few things in here that we don't really need. That I can come back for and do later, you know? Or I can bring them back to Riken later. So we'll put this stuff down here. We'll let it put a little note, actually, like... Uh, misc, misc, loot, Riken and Hibernia. I just say miss because I can't be able to track it. So uh, the books, we'll drop the books. Don't need them. Uh, right, these things got ruined, so we need to harvest those. Uh, we can do that later, though, but let's harvest this now because it's heavy. Uh, the rest we can just carry. It's not a big deal. And then we don't need all these flares. Don't need this one. Guess we can refuel. Uh, I guess we can drop these two. And we can drop that sapling as well. This also, but just because I need it later, we'll just carry it. Alright, let's see. There's two things. I want to see if we can get the memento and I want to find the bear. So the bear, where are you? I can hear crows. That might be the bear. Are you? It is you. Alright, we found the bear. So the most important thing to get from the bear, which we should get right away, is just the hide. We can get the other stuff later. But I'm not going to house him right now. Because I want to see where this memento is. Or at least I'll have the opportunity to. We'll house him after. When you shoot the bear like that with the stress pistol, you do not have a guarantee that the bear will die. Really? Uh, I don't really want to make a fire. Let's go this way. I was hoping you can get up there. <laughs> I guess you can't. Can you get through here, actually? I think you can, yeah. Right. If... Oh, you can't get up here, though, can you? I think it's a blocked path. It is quite literally... Wow, you literally boxed me in, Mr. Wolf. Fine. It is what it is, then. In that case... We are lighting a fire next to the bear. Let's be a bit careful here. Now I'll just fall him up or something. We'll, we'll, we'll harvest a few pieces of meat and let that cook. So 
let's just make a fire here. Uh, we'll harvest a little bit and then let that cook while we look for the rest. Let's put this here. We'll make a little fire. Come on, Lothar. It's not really the wolves to worry about. And we're curing those saplings while we uh Perfect. while we wait. Two of them. That's all right. Okay, let's grab. Look at this bear meat. It looks very different, but kind of more realistic, I guess. Okay, let's put these uh, kind of neat looking texture. Hmm. Interesting. That takes an hour 20. It looked like he was breathing there for a second. I don't mind me, I'm just harvesting you, you know. Okay. So, let's just do this again. And then let's grab torch. Actually, two torch, another with torch. Okay, I want to see if I can figure out where this memento is. Is it building up to a blizzard? I hope not. Because I can't see that thing. And so, so while we're at it, uh, check this locker that's over here. So we got about in two in-game, uh, sorry, one in-game hours. So that's like, you can map twice and go there, map twice also. There's the wolf. Oh, the locker isn't here. They removed it. Used to be a green locker there. Guess it's not there anymore. All right, right. So the the caves are kind of on top of each other. The bear cave and then Scruffy's cave. And the way that they were mapped on the map there led me to think that this box is in Scruffy's cave, or rather near Scruffy's cave. I couldn't find it though. Let's see, I think we can map this before the torch goes out. If not, then so be it. Okay, that's there. It, it must be then, yeah. Oh. Ah, I just burned out. Alright, so Scruffy. Scruffy's cave. I mean, it must be over there somewhere, right? It must be. Because it's not here. A lot easier to do this when it's not a blizzard around. Okay, so. Watching this, you probably maybe even know where it is. It must be somewhere here. So here's Scruffy's cave. I'm looking at that thing. And it should be on the left here then. It should be somewhere here on the left. Somewhere on the left. My instinct cell needs it here, but I checked here before. There's nothing. Blizzard again, wow. Really not helping me out here. I don't want to go into Scruffy's cave again, thanks. Uh, it must be here somewhere. Up here maybe? No? Where are you? Uh, 
Are you that hidden that I can't see you? Come on. Must be there somewhere. I'm really confused. I can't map again either because it's bl a blizzard out now. I mean, it must be here somewhere. Uh, where have I not looked? Uh, am I blind or something? It certainly looks like to me that it should be there's a waterfall. It should be like right right in front of the waterfall. If not I mean it should be here somewhere. Maybe up here? Can you go up here? Doesn't look like you can, but maybe you can. so confused like it, it really looks like it should be here like next to the waterfall what am I missing what am I missing I don't see anything it really looks like it should be in here to be honest but uh, this is like maybe not a box but something else like something similar to a box maybe it's a hollowed out branch no loose rock loose rock loose ice I don't know where else to look to be honest it should be right here by the waterfall not in the waterfall though but I don't know don't see anything. I don't know where it could be. Hmm. Oh, might have to look that up or something. I don't know. Because I don't know where that could be. Hmm. Very, very strange. Gonna have to look that up another time. Unless it's up there, but why would it be up there? That wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Running out of options here. Um, I have no clue where this thing could be. Not getting any prompts either, so... Okay, well, we'll leave that then. I, I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna head back to the bear. That is very strange. Well, if, by the way, you're watching this video, and then suddenly I say something like, Oh, I think I know where the memento is now. <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> then I presumably have paused the game and uh, taken a break and then found out in between. That doesn't usually happen in my videos because I already know most of this stuff. In this case, I don't. So uh, if you didn't know, like, most of my videos that are long not all of them but quite a few of them um, they are glued together by different segments so it could be anywhere anywhere from a 10 minute segment to a 2 hour segment it depends it, it, it varies but um, I will play for as long as I can and then I will uh, save the game, which usually happens when I enter a building or I sleep. You can usually tell because if I pause the game, then I have done a new session. But sometimes 
it also happens that I just cut it when I enter a building or something. So if you're watching, say, a five hour video, that could be a five hour uh, stretch in one go, but most likely we are looking at something like three to six sessions that I've glued to get into one go. I think the bear was here, yeah. Cooked. <laughs> Am I warm here? An hour. Okay, well, we're gonna hope that this bear does not go away. It might disappear in the blizzard, but if it does, it does. But yeah, so if if I now um, you know go to sleep or whatever, and then suddenly like oh, I, I know where it is now, then I just probably took a break, and then I found out where where it was in between, and then I came back to it, you know. I try to keep the videos consistent though, so I don't spend time looking at what I did before. And I try to record them in multiple sessions, either the same day or across a couple days or three days, so that I know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna sleep another 10 hours. Or maybe not quite 10 hours, I guess. Table, let's get to bed. Uh, actually, I'm carrying raw meat, but well, that's, that's okay. Can't be able to go back out. Uh, harvest, yes. I want to harvest some stuff. Scruffy really did a number on me. He really, really injured me. He practically ruined my boots. I need to repair those. Uh, wow, he really did quite a lot of damage. Uh, this takes too long. Uh, we could maybe repair this. Okay. We need cloth for... The tools. We need at least two... Oh my god. Two pieces of cloth. Yeah, okay. We're gonna stick to well fed. For now. We're gonna harvest this stuff though. harvest this as well. He got my wool too, he did. Cheeky. We can switch these around, but I don't think that really makes a difference. <laughs> because if anything, it should be in reverse that this is outer, you know. But anyway, let's uh, eat uh, this. Wait, wait, wait. No. I want to eat the bear steak. There we go. 1% parasite risk. I can live with that. Okay. Speaking of which... Okay, it's daylight. Uh, we're gonna resume the well fed. Right, I'm gonna go back out and find the bear because this will not have been cured yet. Let's see if the bear is out there. We'll come back for this later. Okay, I hope the bear has not despawned. That's my, uh... Hmm... Could do with some more wood. Are you still there? Yes. Okay, good. Let me actually grab some wood from somewhere, like, break something down. Oh, uh, I'll be cold before that happens. 
I, you know what? Uh, I have an idea. Let's um, break down the boxes in here for that backpack. And then we can use that wood for, for the fire. So we need these ones. So let's just do that. And use the hammer. Takes like an hour. A lot of calories, but. Right, what do we got here? Backpack. With nothing in it. Totally worth it as usual. Oh, we got some wood out of it. That's okay. Right, let's go and harvest the rest of this bear. I'm tempted to maybe quarter the bear. Because. It's, it's already survived one blizzard. If the wind picks up, it's not going to be great. I do need to cook the bear outside, though. Because if I cook the bear inside, <clears throat> then eventually that's going to cause cabin fever. And the problem with that is that then uh, it will be harder to forge. Or rather, it's more inconvenient to forge. So I think we will... Possibly quarter it and then cook it. Uh, maybe outside the Riken or something like that. See how we get on. More feathers is good, so you can craft more arrows. Someone told me once that when you see six crows, it means it's a bear or moose carcass. I don't know if that's true or not, but it could be. It was loud there because of the waterfall as well. Where's the feathers, though? Got minus 11. Um, what if I'm protected? There we are. Minus 7. It's going to get warmer as well. So I think we can actually just harvest this and quarter it. Oh, right, it's frozen. Yeah, okay. Forgot about that. Okay then, then let's just do this. One of these. Water. So loud the uh, water's fall. I'm gonna quarter this and take it to the Riken. But I'll cook a few steaks and things while like, I uh, quarter it. Okay, let's put... Okay, let's put this to cook and let's harvest a few more of these like two kilos sure and just to cook things while we quarter 59 minutes all right let's do half of this oh it's still not it's okay well while it's falling we're going to harvest more of this Oh. Still frozen. Another kilo then. Okay, now. This should be cooked, yep. Okay. Let's do an hour. Uh, now 14, that's what this takes, yep, yeah, okay. Let's do it. There we go. Hey, that looks normal. It's a stack of, a uh, stack of meat. This looks like a normal day in the long dark. 
Yes, nothing, nothing to see here. Just carry on normally. 26 minutes. Let's eat one of them. Okay, let's take the raw meat with us. Because then we can... Uh, we can light a fire over there. Put all this stuff to cure. Probably attract some wolves doing this, but that's okay. I can't carry all that stuff, so I'm going to take it over here because this is kind of like our base in this region because of the forge. The workbench is it, Hibernia, but that's okay. We can leave things to cure in here. And then we can uh, cook stuff as well, but outside of the Riken. Uh, because you're fairly protected there, unless the wind... There's like a, a few angles the wind can still hit you. But it should be fine. We're going to harvest the bags over here. And I think that will be enough. By the time we cooked everything, probably we can start forging. Maybe we don't need to cook everything either. Let's see if we can get the bowl. We can make some arrows, and we can make more arrows in in the garage, because I left the uh, feathers there. Very, very slow, and I really, really smell. Should attract wolves from miles away. <laughs> but that's the only bear in this area. We don't need to worry about more bears coming up. At least not for now. Ah, oh, sapling over there. Have oh, a look at that later. Right, so here I think we can make fire. Like here, it's fairly well protected. Make one like. Oh, I didn't mean to go inside. Whoops. Can you put one on top of this? That'd be funny. I, was, I never tried this. I just want to see if it's possible to actually put a fire here. I don't think it is possible. I just want to see if you can. It, uh, here you can. But that's the same as putting it to where I was going to, which is here. I like it. Let's go. There, it's fairly protected. It can still blow out, though. Uh, depending on the wind, but on, fire. pretty Come good on. position. Oh yeah, okay, so that's burning. Oh, yeah. Put a couple of these on. A couple more. And let's put... Mr. Cook. Probably cook it in the pot after. Right, we're gonna put this to cure in here. Let's put this here. This takes 12 days, it's absolutely forever. Uh, do I have anything else I can just like get rid of? Guess not. We can, uh, did I check over here? How's this looking? 34, okay, that's good. 
Yeah, let's just for now put these in here. We'll take them out later. Yeah, okay. Wooden metal I'm not worried about. We can get that in here. But we need to cook outside as much as we can to reduce cabin fever risk. I mean, you can still forge with cabin fever. It's just that it limits you afterwards. Okay. So then we can go and we can actually speed this up a little bit by dropping whatever's heavy. The so things like this, this, these things. Let's drop all of that. Because then... We will move more, and we can carry more of those bags than before. If we don't do it this way, we're going to have to... Oh, there's the wolf. We're going to have to take more trips. He's going to... He might have to take... Oh, okay. I'm not going to light a match for this, so I'm going to go back and grab a torch. That. Ah, now he's afraid. Okay. The normal day at the wolf office. Oh, there you are, that kind of thing. to get the bowl. I like killing the wolves because it's just annoying. When I pass through, if I have a torch then I just scare them off like this. But if I don't, I find it easy to just kill them. But only if you have the means to do it. That's a, always a good rule for survival. You, you always have to have a contingency. You have to be prepared for the fact that it could go wrong. So if you have very little life left, just do whatever you can to uh, to survive. Don't take risks. Okay, we should be able to grab two or three of these. One, two. I think we can maybe take another one. That's a bit heavy, but we can take these. Come back for these two. I mean, I can take them, but it's going to be very, very heavy. I think this is good enough. There's the wolf again. Smell all that tasty meat. It, it can happen that the wolf attacks you when it runs away, but it's usually a bug. Even if the wolf runs right at you, it will just like run through you. But I have seen it happen. It can happen that the... Um, Uh, the wolf attacks you. It's very rare though. It's happened to me maybe twice. Uh, outside of cases where the pathing is, is, is bugged. I wonder how this ship actually got wrecked like this, by the way. How, how did that happen? Did it like reverse onto it? <laughs> it does almost look like, based on the ice, that this kind of emerged like it's volcanic. If only we could activate this harpoon and shoot it at the bear. <laughs> okay, let's drop these. This is cooked, so we'll just drop this here. And how's this looking? 18 minutes. We can wait 18 minutes. Take that, and we can uh, harvest this. Is there anything else we can do? Let's see. One second. All right. 
Okay, survivors. Um, quick disclaimer if you're listening to this. I, uh, when I paused the game there, I muted my microphone uh, to uh, talk on the phone. And then I forgot to unmute the microphone again. So for the next minute and a half from now, two minutes from now, you're going to have to listen to editing Zach talking over this because I'm just talking to myself at this point. Uh, but there's not much you missed, really. It's just for about two minutes, and then I realize and turn it back on. So, yeah, guest appearance by editing Zach here. I'm just uh, uh, reminding myself to talk about this. In any case, here, all I'm doing is just... Um, putting the uh, cooking pots to to cure, or not cure, to, to cook things uh, while I go and collect some more of the, the meat. So let's put this to, to cook so I can get some more wood. Wood, wow, water. Yeah. Maybe editing, editing sack should step in and correct editing sack talking, this is, is dumb. Anyway, so I'm uh, just making some water here. I'm lighting a torch because you know, there's a wolf around, and the wolf, it's not that big a deal, but once you pick up the, the meat, the wolf will come for you, so it's good to have a torch ready, it's, it's very important. So, I'm just going to grab all of this uh, meat that's left, take it back, and then harvest it, and cook as much as possible, so that we can get uh, as much food as possible. Parasites is a risk here, but what are you going to do? Like, the... Uh, it's worth it in my opinion as long as you're prepared for it so if you have if you have uh, antibiotics or reishi teas ready if you get parasites it's a bit of a pain to have 20 days of parasites but at least during those 20 days you can eat as much uh, predator meat as you want uh, it's it's very you don't have to worry about further parasite risk so you can just keep eating it as much as you want so there is a benefit as well to the uh, to getting parasites, but 20 days is a lot, so I try to just do it uh, for as long as necessary, and then rather eat something else after if I can. And it's about here that I remember that my mic is muted, so let's put you back to normal, Zach. Bye bye. <clears throat> Whoops! I had my mic unmuted. <laughs> I'll probably dub the last uh, last minute. But here is live Zach. Uh, there's usually nothing here, but when there is uh, the Dark Walker event, there's a campfire here, and you know, let's as well check. Don't really see anything though. No. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook this as long as we can. Yeah, let's drop these. There we are. Now I can pick this back up. This is an hour and a half still, so let's start harvesting this. It's an hour. These frozen, actually. I don't know if that makes a difference. Maybe it does. I don't think so, though. Let's do this. I don't usually stack things, but we'll do it today. Rather, I, I don't usually... This is not cooked. Might get parasites, but if I do, I can just eat as much predator meat as I want. 18 minutes. Now one of these is very small. Not sure which one. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure which one. In any case, uh, 15 minutes. It's one kilo then. You can cook more, but I need more wood for that. So let's take the water, and this time we're going to use the pots. Very often you'll see me not use the pots. Let's just use this. One. 
because it's just easier to clicking wise to do it on but it is faster as you can see let's see if I can get um, this could be like bits let me just see if I can get some wood in here not for the forge though but like breaking this down for example yeah that's good for these 45 minutes. Man, all I can think about is I don't really care if I get par parasites. 14 minutes. Oh, let's harvest Kilo then. Should be done. Yep. Yeah. Grab two of these. See if there's some more wood we can grab. How about this? Now eight. Shouldn't lose. Yeah. Hey, what? It didn't. Oh, it got too dark at the last second. Wow. Just before it was done, they got dark. But didn't actually break it down. That's dumb. <laughs> All right, parasite risk. Let's ignore it. Nine percent. We could always eat some of these other things, like uh, this, and to negate it a little bit. Let's eat this one too. There we go. Have a drink too. And how's this looking? This is cooked. I if I can drop any of this gear. It's windy, but I don't think it's actually hitting it, is it? No. Oh, it is. Just as I put that on. Oh well. You can take these inside though and harvest them inside. Good one. All right. Uh, these have been cooked. Okay, I'm gonna take these. And I'm, gonna th I'm not gonna take them inside. <laughs> At least not yet. There we are. <coughs> okay. Grab this. Oh, well, whatever. These three. Then we'll harvest this. Hey, parasites got healed. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Let's harvest all of this, and we can cook it later. Or while we forge. We're gonna forge the next day though. I think I need drop all of this over here. There we go. Grab one of these. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, come on. No, we can actually call to this here. Because we're not cold enough.
Okay. Grab two of these. And we're going to get some more wood. Not a lot of it though. Hey, an Aurora. In that case, let's uh, break down something. Yeah, this <laughs> let's eat this. And considering we are practically at full health, I'm gonna eat whatever gives me food poisoning now, because if I do get food poisoning, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go here, ready to sleep. Not on that bed, that looks bad. This bed. Okay, that bed. All right, so what's the lowest condition items I got? I got quite a few things there. And if they give me food poisoning, it's okay. Those will just use antibiotics. And sleep it off. No, the there we go. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God, it Keep hurts. eating whatever has low condition. Especially... I just want to die. I guess food poisoning twice. <laughs> Alright, so eat this. From granola, but actually superseded that, I think. Yeah. What happens if I use this again? No, no, no. Okay, well, whatever. Why didn't that work? Didn't actually ask me to do anything interesting. Okay, anyway, I will drink this and then we should be fine. We just need to sleep for 10 hours. We're already full health anyway, so just sleep for 10 hours. We won't be losing a lot of health. Uh, that's good enough, yes. Okay, so let's uh, eat something else. Let's eat, say, this. And that. And this. Okay, I think it's time to forge. Now, before we forge, there's one thing I want to point out. Let's first go ahead and grab some stuff. Uh, grab these. Might as well take those. Uh, I want to go and grab some raw meat because I might cook that while we make stuff. So let's grab a few steaks. Let's grab some of these. I don't know how many. Here. That's probably good enough. Okay, I think it's time to forge. Alright, before we forge, there's one thing I want to point out. So you know how earlier I mentioned the memento stuff? And then I went to sleep? Well, when I went to sleep in Hibernia early in this video, I took a little break, and in the break I got curious if someone else had found this thing. Because uh, it was driving me nuts, I couldn't find it. And some of you watching have probably already figured this out. Maybe you have already commented before reaching this point saying, there is nothing to find there. But I didn't know this because I haven't had that many interactions with mementos. But there are two different types of mementos. It actually is in the name, I didn't realize. But you see how this one is called Memento Cache? Well, it's in the name. That means that there is a cache to actually find there to open. And now that I think about it, this one was the only one of the scribbled notes that actually had a key. But you need a key to open the cache. However, this one here, the memento hint there, and the memento hint here, they are called the memento hints, right? Not memento cache. So there's a memento cache, there's a memento hint. The hints only really serve to get you to a specific location. But the point of the hints is just to reveal that you can go there. And, now, and when I realized that, actually that makes sense, and I kind of like it because... 
people very often will not go here to this cave. I'm not going to be able to carry right? this load for That's, much longer. Uh, this Scruffy's cave. People often don't know it exists. Like, why would you go down here? So they don't realize there is a cave there, or certainly not was in it. Now that Scruffy's in there, you know. So this is a place that people often don't go. The same thing with Katie's Corner. It's not very intuitive that there is a plateau up here. Because you need to go down here and over and around and then the path up. So you kind of have to, it's hard to find this. However, if you have a memento hint, it tells you that there is something up there. You should go check it out. I'm like, oh, okay. But that's what it is. I'm not sure why this is there. But that's what it is. That, that makes more sense because I noticed that in the menu here, it says that there's 44 mementos. I was like, are there really 44 mementos? That seems like a lot of cash and loot. But no, what it refers to, these are mementos in total, including things like where to go. So in this region, at least the ones I found, there's one cache, but then these ones are just locations. So yeah, so when I was looking here, I didn't find anything. That's because there was nothing to find. <laughs> there's nothing there. It's just a way to get you to go to that location. That's all it is. Okay. It's time to do some forging. So let's do that. How much... Scrap to have 16. That's probably good enough, I think. I think so. If not, we'll uh, break something down. Like, uh, uh, how much is to break this down? Two hours. It's probably the same. Now 30. Okay. All right. So we're gonna grab this wood and the coal. Take all of it. You need a minimum of four coal to get this to work, but in practice you need a lot more than that. Uh, the reason you can do it with four is it's possible to heat the forge up to 80 degrees with just normal wood. And once you've done that, you can then put on four pieces of coal and you get to 160 degrees and then you can forge because forging is 150. So you can do that. But that would require a lot of wood. So depending on what you got, it's basically the equivalent to putting on 80 sticks, you know, and then you put on coal. But in principle, you could. Come on, <clears throat> I usually just put on a bit of wood to get the fire duration going. Then I put the rest. Like oh, It's just coal. Probably use like eight coal or something. Come on, this time, this time. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna put on uh, this and also these. And then let's just see how far we get with four. <laughs> We're not gonna get enough, but one, two, three, four. And we can put on half a liter of this. Uh, yeah, we'll eat this later. This is to cook. Might get ruined, but that's okay. 16. I think we'll be okay with that for now, at least. We also have two of these. We don't need these at all. Put these away over here somewhere. You kind of have to wait for this to pass. You can always um, sleep or do something. So 112 with four pieces of coal, you know. That means we need two more. Yeah, and now you can actually forge in it. Let's get this water first. And it's got 10 hours, 11 hours. So first thing, we want the hatchet and the knife. So let's do that first. Four hours for the hatchet. Four scrap metal and a cloth. There we go. Hey, it's an Aurora. For the knife, it's uh, three hours, which I think is too long for the water. It will vaporize just uh, before you finish. But might as well do it. Yes, yeah, so now we have the hatchet and the knife. I see it vaporized. Okay, so that's good, but we still have eight of these left, so we make 16 arrows. That's pretty good. 
And that's enough, actually. Yeah, look at the icon up to the upper right. The bear meat is the old icon. And this stuff. Interesting. What we're going to do is, nevertheless, uh, drop the spare meat. Except for this one. That's the one that is cooked. And now, because if I put this on here, let's see the duration. Uh, we're going to need a bit more than that. So we can put on... If I put this on the cook, it's going to take an hour and 22 minutes. So then we can make arrowheads for one hour. We can also make water this way. Okay, and I'll grab... That's 20 minutes. Grab it. Might actually be better to do it this way. In which case, uh, I think you can put this on even though it's ruined. Try at least. This pack is getting too heavy. Yeah, so even though it's ruined, you, you can still cook it. An hour, then you forge another hour. There we are. Five minutes. Let's eat some bear meat. See, this has gone up to 50% now. When it's ruined and you cook it, it goes up to 50. Oh, actually, it might be 51. Let's see. Wait for that to be ready. Uh, now it's 50. Okay. How much water do I have, actually? Not that much. Uh, let's do another cook here. go and let's make two liters of water this time and make two sections of this parasite risk are healed hey well fed is back how about that let's make some more we can do this two more times after this I don't think we need more scrap metal I don't think it's necessary Uh, but I have so much coal that I'll just do it that way. Okay. And one more. Oops. And there we go. Much longer. Oh, let's do half half a liter to use this fire. And let's eat this before it gets too low condition. Need to sleep, but I can wait a little bit. Take that. And we can also grab that, light this. How is this looking curing wise? Those are cured. This is getting there. Let's go outside and cook some more meat with what we got because we still got quite a bit of coal and getting more coal for future forging is pretty easy. There is the abandoned mine near here, and the mine going to connect the, like, crumbling highway. So, it's really no problem at all. Let's restart the cooking procedure. Come on, little fire. One more time. See if we can cook all this bear meat. Come on, little fire. Come on. All right. <sighs> and again, you can make this easier by just having fire starting, uh, like the fire start, fire mastery feat. Because then you can just start with level three fire starting. It makes it easier. But I never do that because it's so easy to light fires this way. Okay. 
put some of these on. And then we can put uh, these down. Put that on there. And that on there. We got a little supply here. If you get parasites, it's, it's an annoying affliction for sure. But at least you can eat predator meat while you have the affliction. It takes an hour. Uh, and while we do that, we can do some repairs. How about we repair this, for example? Oh, I didn't bring that. Okay, well, I'll have to repair this instead. Okay, uh, repair these before they get ruined. The terrible socks, but it's better than nothing. You could also read a book. If I want to do repairs first. Uh, this we could repair as well, and then it should be done after that. They look different. Oh, well, that's interesting. That they have improved the textures. Look. So these are gamey. So that's eighty-eight percent. Right. These are moldy. So fifty percent. Let's see if something gets rancid or something interesting. Okay. Let's repeat. Uh, repair this. Oh, I don't have the cloth for it. Let's go inside. There's more cloth to be found in, in Hibernia. I just didn't pick up. This will take a while to cure. We can also read books. Take these. And take that and this one. Oh, this also to, to harvest. Repair those shoes or something. Forty-nine minutes. All right, let's. Uh, uh, this cost cloth in addition. I see. Then let's harvest this. And see what we can do. In which case... I don't think there's anything really to repair other than this. An hour 30. We'll, we'll wait a little bit though. This is 2. And I think this is 2 as well. Yep. Okay. We can read. But let's wait for this to be done first. In which case... Uh... Coffee. Do we have a whetstone? We do have a whetstone. I could maybe repair this, but I think I used all the scrap metal. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll try and repair the. Uh... I read the book first. Oh, it's... oh, it doesn't level us. Okay. Then let's do this. No, it doesn't give the Riken symbol. That happens sometimes, it's like a bug. Let's see if it happens here. Yeah, there we go. If that happens to you and you're marking something and it doesn't show up, just try that. I think there's maple over there, actually. Okay, good. Let's keep doing this. All the small pieces. There we go. Small pieces we're just putting over here because they don't really... They're not worth eating until we're level 5. Just for comparison here, you can see the raw meat. This thing. Okay. So it takes an hour. Let's uh, put on some more wood here. 
Let's try. We'll try and repair these. Alright, we got it. Nice. Cooked. Getting close to done here. I think there are any more of the small ones. No. Okay. One of those small pieces, no, yeah. Okay, let's, uh... Let's have a drink. And let's read something. Let's read, uh, this. When you're this tired. Oh, yeah, of course, I'm tired. Let's drink a coffee. I'm oh, not thirsty. Oh, wow. Well. Let's drink one coffee just for the sake of it, see, so we can read this thing. This one, though. I think this will allow me to read two hours. That's about it, though. Read another hour. I don't think we can read another one. Did it? I thought there was like three hours left of this thing. No, I guess not. Okay, I'm not lighting another fire for that. So we're going to do this instead. That's cooked. And that's it, really. This indicates that it's raw. That's cooked. There we are. Let's harvest this. That's our cooking. Uh, harvest this. We'll go and sleep. There we are. I don't think we can read anymore. I mean, we can try, but I'm pretty sure we'll get tired before we finish reading this book. So yeah, see. <laughs> it's a bit stupid, actually, that the way that works... Um, let's, let's just put this, this here for comparison. And you can really see the, the difference there between the meat. Okay. Well, anyway, let's grab some of these. We're gonna go sleep. And we'll make some arrows, and then eventually the bow. I do have the bedrolls, I could just sleep here, but I don't think it's necessary. We have the bear harvested. I uh, need another deer hide to craft anything like that, though. Let's go here. We'll sleep. We can sleep here this time. <laughs> and then... Sleep for 10 hours. Alright, then we'll eat another one of these. Friction is 9%, so the odds are increasing. Keep another two hours. Okay, it's almost daylight, so let's just sleep. I mean, pass until there. That's windy out. And let's just finish reading this book. Three hours. Let's just do it now. There we go. Parasite risk healed as well. And cooking should be leveled as well. There we go. Cooking is level 3 now. Very nice. Okay, how's this looking? By the time I make the arrows, this might be cured. So, uh, I think it's time to relocate our base back. To Hibernia. 
I'm heavy, but not that heavy. Let's take all of this stuff with us. You included. And this. How's this? Uh, that's curing, but that's okay. Take it with us. We don't really need to take it with us. Not, not really, but it's just easier. And food-wise, uh, we'll take where we need really to stay well-fed. So... Let's just take... Oh. Now, no, actually, we'll eat this. Take these six. Okay, so now we're heavy, but... It's acceptable. See if the wolf comes after us again. I'm gonna make some arrows and then uh, we'll sleep. And after that, we can probably make the bow. And after that, there isn't really anything else to explore here. I haven't been to that little island over there, but there's not really anything there. At least, not usually. But we haven't been to the abandoned coal mine, so we have to do that. I would also like to start hunting deer, you know, look for moose now. This is going really well. So, so far we found one hammer, only one. You can't really start forging until you have a hammer, but two hacksaws. The hacksaws are not essential. Uh, you can easily get going without the hacksaw. It's just that finding the hacksaw makes things a lot easier. But one thing, you can actually cut down the saplings before you start forging, so they can cure uh, while you're forging and while you're doing other stuff which is really great that's the main reason really the second reason is that if you don't have enough scrap metal you can just harvest it so in my case i had found like six or seven scrap metal and the rest i harvested in full and musky especially you'll find quite a lot of scrap metal just laying around poachers camp and like near near the farm and that sort of thing so if you don't have the hacksaw and you forge in full on musket, you should be able to find enough uh, by just your journey through the farm and also going through things like the dam and whatnot. You should be able to find enough um, uh, scrap metal to forge the tools and at least like four arrows, six arrows. And then you can get more uh, afterwards. Just gonna take all of this stuff and sort out our inventory later. Uh, so let's have this as a base. Let's put down stuff that's not cured, which is this. And then this. That. And the guts will put that here. You can only make four arrows. That's okay. Let's actually do some inventory. This can be our base. Uh, so I think I wrote Reich and it's now just Ibernia. Some food in Reich. Okay. Everything we don't really need, we're going to put in here. So let's put in... I mean, we might we might do some reading. We'll see. This that we can put in. If I read, I'll read a sewing book, if anything. Uh... We don't need all these flares. Keep one of them. Don't need that. We don't need this either. Put two of these in. Maybe three of them actually. And then whichever this one. I guess that's it for now. Okay, let's do some uh some arrow crafting. I don't have tools, I don't think. Make these first. Making these doesn't level archery as far as I know. But making arrows actually levels archery, which is great. We might as well make more of them though. Because we have more feathers back in the garage. But we might as well make some more. Even if not going to use them right now. We also have some curing in the garage, so we leave some here and then take the rest with us. Okay, that's good enough. And then we'll make simple arrow. I don't have any tools with me, so we're gonna have to do it the manual way, which is just by hands. It takes twice as long as quality tools. Uh, we need to eat, eat this. 
Uh, I should make more water to be honest. Light take up there. Oh well. Okay, let's just keep doing this. We should be able to make another one after this, but I'm not sure about the fourth one. We can try, but I think it will get too dark before we finish the last arrow. Now we got it. Okay. We can't make more because we don't have. Uh, We don't have the uh, feathers. See it, another one? These. Okay, let me have a quick look if there's any cloth around that I didn't pick up, like that I can harvest. I have the knives now, oh, the knives, so I can get cloth by breaking down uh, pillows and things. There might be some upstairs, because I'd like to do some more repairs if I can. Blizzard outside. Any cloth here I can break? There's an old pillow, for example. No. I know there is a pillow, though, in the trailer. You can go there. Yeah, cured gut. We need that for later. That's actually... I don't think it's too dark yet. So let's just hop in here. So here there should be some cloth. Uh, from the pillows. And this, yes. Old bedroll. For a way to drink in the morning. I think there's some more pillows and stuff around. Uh, pillow. And pillow. Let's see if we can grab this. You need the knife for it. Ah, oh, it's too dark. Okay, in that case, let's just wait until it's until it's light. We need to be able to sleep until it's light, which would be about here, I guess. Have a drink. Would like to get some deer hunting, so we don't have as much parasite risk. Oops. Okay. Hello. Oh, you pillow. Should be here. All right, fine. Grab that. And then there should be a pillow over here. Some more here. Oh, lots, lots of cloth here. Look at this. Lots and lots. We're gonna get all of this. We don't actually need all of it. But it's something to do to kill time. We get lots of cloth. You can do repairs. I'm gonna take some um, hydration damage. How much condition does that take? 25, 25%. Is there any more? Is that it? All I can think about is. I think that's it. But we got lots of it now. Nine percent again. There is an argument that we could maybe read rather than forge. No, I mean craft. Let's have a look at this. 96 so we could maybe read while we have the opportunity to read because uh i have any first yeah that's true uh yeah let's do it because if we do get parasites we, i don't think we can read let's read first until that cures the rest 
think we can do the last three. Let's go. There we go. A level us as well, or guess not. Just barely under. And this 99%. Okay. Let's repair something while we wait then. Now that we have the cloth to do so. Okay, that broke. Put that in here. Cured. It's cured. Let's make a bow. Actually, probably take this with us. Eat another bear meat. I'm not gonna drink the water though yet. Let's make this. I'm not sure we can do it in one sitting, but we'll try. Might be able to make a fire. And make water while we craft the rest if it's too dark. Yeah, I think so. So this will now My tongue feels like go maybe sick. half an hour or more, I guess, when it's too dark. Yeah. All right, let's light a fire. Repair skill to 100. <laughs> yeah, you can use that. Let's go. Oh, oh, failed. Now we can get the um, the bow. No, oh, I had to. Do oh, come on, back to the garage <gasps> after. Work? Come on. Come on. Come on, little fire. Come on. Bad times to charm. Come on, little fire. I'm uh, running out of tinder here. Well, fine, use the birch bark. Fine. I only have one anyway. Come on, little fire. Actually, I should have used a book. That didn't work. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Yeah. I already lit the match, you see. Some more tinder this way. I will make uh, use this. Yeah, we already read that book, so might as well light it on fire. Okay, now it's actually doing something. Uh, yeah, let's just drop that too. Uh, we need we need some more torches for future use, so let's just grab like three of these. Oh, that's a terrible torch. Good torches only, or like decent torches only. Good enough. Okay. Now, let's do this. We'll have a drink, seeing as uh, we're making water anyway. I don't think I have anything else to cook. No. Okay, that takes like two hours, give or take. I think we can craft. Does that give us enough light to craft? I hope so. Yeah. There we go. Look at this. The the isolated the isolated barrel just kinda of like by itself. In a in a room full of darkness, <laughs> that's all there is in this room. Just a burning barrel. And this the the lighting in the, in this game is fantastic. It just uh, how they do it is is so good. Create so good. It creates such a good atmosphere. Uh, Twenty one minutes. Oh, with four hours. That's okay. All right. So let's just do that. Grab this. 
Cabin fuel risk. Here it comes. Uh, let's just do another half a liter for both of these. Okay, I think that's enough. But let's go up and sleep. And cabin fever is going to kick in soon. That's okay. And we're going to sleep here. Starving. Let's eat some bear meat. Bring some water. Sleep. We won't be able to sleep 10 hours. We'll, we'll put 10 hours anyway. Alright, it's morning, kind of. Eat this. Don't get food poisoning now, please. We could read more, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, yeah, power, uh, cabin fever is almost ready. Okay, we're gonna get out of here now. We're gonna leave this here. Leave this to cure as well. Um, we'll put bear hide, 10 guts, 4 saplings. Uh, actually, we're going to leave. I was gonna take this with me, but I'm gonna leave it here. Let me quickly see if anything needs repairing urgently. We could try and repair these again. Let's do it because, because they are like mid-level. Yeah. That's good. We could also repair this. There we go. Good. Mending two, nice. All right, let's put in here everything we don't need now. So we're going to put in most of this cloth. Bring two. Uh, the arrowheads will take that with us because we're going to use those. Uh, yes, we'll take the rest with us. Yes. We can put one of these in here. And let's put a pack of matches in here too. Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna head out of here now. I might grab the sapling, the maple sapling, but I think we don't really need to. We can leave it. By the time that this bow breaks, in terms of its condition, we will have found another maple sapling that we can cure. Worst case, we'll go back here. Or worst, worst case, we have one shell of this. But yeah, we got it now. Really nice. We still have plus 13. We're on day 12, 11. Okay. It took us about 10 days. We're gonna go into the, uh, we don't have any food on us, actually. <clears throat> Might have to go pick some up. We'll see how we get on. Uh, I might hunt the deer or something, too. Let's go through here. Oops, wrong door. Okay, now we have this. So now the wolves are not so much of a nuisance anymore. If I kill a wolf though, I really should harvest it. But at the moment, I'm just going to get rid of them if they're in my way. And how cold it is though. Oh, I see. Look at you sprinting out of excitement. Fine. Let's do this. Oh, you as well, huh? Let's uh, grab the hides. I'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit of cold damage, but that's okay. Because I want to uh, get them for crafting. Cabin fee went down a bit too, so. Took quite a bit of cold damage there, but that's okay. Let's see what we got in here. What is there in here? Okay. More coal, we'll take it. Hey, a torch. 100% torch. I don't usually go in here very, very often. I go in like once per run type of thing. Maybe twice to get some more coal. Hey, drink. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You can always take some more coal back to the Riken. Let that be a demonstration, by the way, that a simple arrow, even when you are level one archery, will kill a wolf in one hit if you hit him in the head. That second wolf wasn't even in the head, it was in the neck or shoulder, but that can also kill it. I think that was slightly lucky. Yeah, we'll probably go back to the Riken actually with some of this stuff. Need to get some food there anyway. Okay, workbench. Pretty much all of these mines have a workbench. Except for this one, which is not a workbench. You should have known that. <laughs> it's quite a short mine, but it does take you quite far in the map. Oh look, is anything like around here? Not that I can see. Nope. Okay. We are here now. Uh, I'm gonna head back to... Where have I got to? Do you wanna go back? I don't know. You just take this with me to be honest. I'm not that heavy. Don't have that much food though, it's the only thing. Eh, it can be a challenge. Let's just take it take it with us. We'll hunt the deer if we see one. I can also drop some coal at the exit in this mine up here. Because um, then if I come back and I want to forge, then I have all the coal that has respawned, plus the coal that's on the outside. I kind of have to go via this route regardless, so. By the way, if I now check the conditions of my arrows, there should be two arrows that are 100% condition and two arrows that are 73% each. And that is exactly the case. Now, how did I know that, if you're curious? I know that because uh, when you shoot an arrow and you hit an animal, doesn't matter if it's a rabbit or a moose, bear, wolf, dead, that makes no difference. It takes 27% condition damage. That's why I don't shoot rabbits with, that, with archery. I mean, sure, you level up the skill, but uh, you're kind of wasting condition, in my opinion. And I shot two wolves with two arrows, because I shot one arrow and then I shot the other wolf with the other arrow. I didn't pick up the first one. The the bow will always pick whichever arrow. Um, like if I do this, no, actually I can't really do that. Yeah. Um, the bow will the bow will always pick the arrow with the lowest condition when it selects an arrow. And in that case, I shot an arrow, then I shot the other arrow. So both were used twice. Yeah. 
generally speaking, that means that when you shoot an arrow, if you hit an animal, you can hit an animal four times with that arrow before it breaks. And when it breaks, you can harvest it, you get the arrowhead back, some feathers, and you basically need... You need another feather, but basically you just need more saplings. So each sapling, each birch sapling you find, is effectively three arrows, and each arrow can be hit four times, right? But that's uh, that's t twelve. Uh, is that right? Yes. So four. That's, yes. So each sapling that you pick up. We can actually drop some of this, uh, yeah, drop 10 of these. Each sapling that you pick up uh, of that spurge is effectively the same as hitting an animal 12 times. With it. Because you hit it four times, it breaks. Right? But you can make three arrow shafts with a birch sapling. So uh, one birch sapling gives you three arrow shafts, i.e. three arrows. Each arrow can take four hits, so that's 12 hits. So one bird sapling gives you 12 hits. Now, if you think about that, let's say you have 10 bird saplings, and there's easily way more than that in the game. Let's say you have 10 bird saplings. That's the same as hitting an animal 120 times. 120, right? That is effectively Assuming you hit the animal and kill it in one shot, like a deer or a wolf, that's 120 deers killed. Or 120 wolves. A bear and a moose can also be one shot, but probably you won't be able to do that consistently. Um, so be less than that. But if you think about it, and then let's say each deer, let's say you kill actually 120 deer with it. If you miss with the arrow and it lands in the snow, it only takes a couple percentage damage, like 2% or so. So even if you miss, you can still probably hit the animal four times before the arrow breaks, right? So you should be able to hit four, maybe three times if you miss a lot with each arrow. So if you then kill, uh, if you do kill 120 deer, let's say they're really bad deer, they all gave five kilos each. Normally it could be anywhere between, you know, six and 10. But let's just say it's a really bad deer, and they all give 5 kilos. Well, now you have 600 kilos of meat or something like that. And that's going to last you a long, long, long time. And that's kind of how you have to think about it. Now, there are a lot of birch saplings in the world. In my main run, which is now obsolete... F, you know. <clears throat> in that run, I had hit... Uh, I think it was all, almost 900 arrows had hit wildlife. So I had shot, I had shot my arrows all, well over a thousand times, but they were not all hits, right? Uh, so some were misses, but I had hit an animal almost 900 times with an arrow in one run, right? That's that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of saplings, but despite. Oh that many hits I still had a lot of saplings left to that could be used like at least at least 20 like laying around in bases and that's not taking into account forsaken airfield which I couldn't go to anyway so we're talking about being able to make you can probably hit an animal 2000 plus times and even if you were to run out completely of saplings, they all break or they all get lost, you know? Uh, and you, you run out of arrows, because maybe you killed a wolf, wolf, but it ran off and you didn't get that arrow back, so you only shot it once. And you run out of saplings. Well, that's a shame, but the, by, by then, if, if you reach that stage in the game, if you get so far into the late game, that you actually don't have any more saplings and you don't have any more arrows. By the time you get to that stage in the game, you most likely have a huge food supply already established. You have a base with lots of food outside and possibly more food in other bases around. So if you have to walk around without the weapon, just, you know, instead of torch or a flare and then just use your, 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 um, your stones just like you would early game, I mean, you should be fine and able to survive for long, long, long periods of time. And while you're doing that, you can beachcomb. Because through beachcombing, 
you can get birch saplings washing up on shore. It's not very common, but it does happen. So if you absolutely were to run out of saplings completely, you can go to Bleak Inlet, Coastal Highway, Crumbling Highway, and Desolation Point, those four areas, and just check the coast, check the ice, and at some point you will find a birch sapling. And then you have another arrow, right? And if you got that far, you you should be fine surviving without using the arrow. So then you find another birch sapling. So you're never gonna you're never gonna really run out of arrows. Okay, it's a doe. Let's kill a kill this doe. So I don't have that much food. Uh, I will tell you. I don't remember the exact details. <clears throat> But um, if you miss an arrow and it lands on the ice, it can take a lot of damage. Uh, not so much if it lands and glides along the ice, but if it lands like face down on the ice, it can take a lot of damage. I'm gonna use the old trick of crouch, stand up and shoot. Oh, come on, you didn't die. Okay, see so that one landed uh, face down. So this one, let's have a look at the condition of this one then. Fifty-four, okay. That took uh, like twenty percent almost. Okay, so this there, I don't really want to use more arrows to shoot it, so I need to just follow it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's a very open space here. So we should be fine. I died. I didn't get very far, actually. I would have thought it would get, get further. But the good thing about this deer... I wish I had a mag lens so I didn't have to use a torch. But um, They won't give me parasite risk, which is 9% already. Although it would be annoying if uh, now uh, I got parasites. Alright. Doe is down. My arrow. Oh. Bit of a visual bug there. <laughs> Nine kilos. Okay. Oh, we will. This is a bit in the open, but. We will harvest this. Oh, the bear is over there. And uh, let's use a low condition torch. There is really far out. See, we usually isn't that far. Oh, I only have one tinder. Oops. I will just harvest the stick if uh, we need to. Come on, little fire. Come on. And that's exactly what we need to do. Let's use this torch. Oh, this one should be enough. And then harvest this. I forgot to check. I always like to have at least six tinder on me. But there I just, just forgot. Use this. There we are. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. Perfect. Uh put it couple of these on. Where did the bear go? Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose well fed, so let's just... Uh, let's... Yeah, sure, let's have this. It'd be fine, I think. Let's do... Uh, the knife is fastest. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Water, how much water do I have? No. Uh, let's do half a liter. Okay, parasites are cured. Okay, let's switch now to this. We 
There we go. Let's eat this. Now we don't have to worry about parasite risk anymore. Uh, if I do distance, there we are. Filter it by weight, it's a bit faster. 40 minutes. Okay. The two. That's the three kilos, yeah. I want to dare hide as well. I'll drop stuff so the bear doesn't ambush me. Uh, we might as well do this though. There we go. We need more of this. Take the rest of that. It's 29 minutes. Seven minutes. I think we can grab one of these with the knife. One more go. Grab the hide. The hide is actually equal. When it says forward, the using your hands is the same as using your knife, so might as well use the hands then. The hide doesn't actually have a scent, so it's uh, okay. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay, and then we can grab this. Just use your hands. And I drop these right away, because then I don't attract the bear or anything else. I'm probably going to be a little bit heavy, but... We got a lot of stuff. We got food. We got water. We got a deer hide. We got guts. Oh, it's an aurora. The night hasn't actually triggered yet. You don't see the aurora, but you can hear it if you listen closely. You hear it? It's, it's there in the background. And... So there's going to be an aurora. Okay, we're going to get to the garage. We had that one, right? Got to be a little bit careful with the bear here. I mean, I'll kill the bear if I have to. Set up for a good run. I'm sure I can carry much more. You'll be fine, Astrid. You'll be fine. Now, don't be surprised if the weather now suddenly switches. That does happen sometime uh, when there is an aurora and it hasn't visually triggered it yet. And what happens then is you can you can walk like this, and then it suddenly, in one instance or the next, like boom, it switches to an aurora, like the skies light up. And if that happens, then the animals also despawn. You see this wolf over here? He could just suddenly, suddenly vanish. Because the aurora will switch. The, 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 when the aurora happens, it doesn't actually turn the animals into aurorals. They are actually switched to aurora animals. And I do find, might not be correct, but I do find, oh, uh, no, there he is still. I do find that Aurora wolves are more buggy than normal wolves. In the sense that they they get stuck in like this howling loop all the time. I'm not sure where the bear went. But now though, the... Uh, um, I don't want to use this torch. But now though, the torch will still work. So at the moment, they aren't the raw wolves, so even if though I smell, they are not going to attack me. See this wolf? They're still stuck in the same place over there. 
And finally he's moving. He's he smelled me. Not sure what happened to the bear. We'll deal with the bear another time. There's no such thing as Aurora prey animals, so the rabbit, uh, the deer, and the moose does not spawn in the Aurora. Actually, it despawns. If you are unlucky enough to see a moose and then the Aurora hits, the moose will just poof, vanish. If you want to see that in action, uh, check out one of my community highlight videos. I think it's the one called Bugs Episode 3. There's a clip in there by a streamer called Barbecue. Who does a streamed long dark um, where he's watching a moose and then it just vanishes in front of his eyes? That wolf gave up, but this wolf has smelled me. See how it's caught in these like howling loops? That's uh, typical of the Aurora. He got scared. Uh, no, he didn't. Might have to kill these. Uh, might be able not to. I could just kill them, but I don't really need anything from them, other than maybe the hides to make a bit, uh, wolf coat. But for now, that's not important. And now the Aurora is out. Now the Aurora has started. But the Aurora wolves have not come in yet. Even the distress pistol will not stop an Aurora wolf. They'll just completely ignore it. But they can... Um, uh, they can get killed by it though. Okay, there shouldn't be a moose around if uh, the Aurora is out. We'll check though quickly, but... No. Alright, so we're back here then. Good old Quonset Garage. How's our cabin fever? Eh, it's going down, but not absent. Okay. Uh, we'll have this as our current base. Put that here. Nice actually to forge in Desolation Point, because in most of my interloper videos, I pretty much always forge in... Um, that's what makes some water. In, in full on musk kick. But I have an excuse to do something different. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. Oh yeah. Oh Just yeah. That's good. Put one of these on. One of these, and just make some water. With one and a half liters, I'd say. Yeah. Probably be enough. Give it. There's the aurora into full effect. You can do some crafting if that's the case. Let's see. Uh, that's my bow. Yeah, it's fine. So here is our stuff. Uh, I can put this by. We're taking these. I can put that out this one. Uh, we could. Oh, let's take this to make arrows faster. Take this to refuel. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff, I guess. No. No. Let's refuel the lantern. Put that back in here. I think we need to put a couple sticks on here. And nine, yeah. Let's uh, make some more arrows. This time with the tools. We'll make one first. Utilize the light of the aurora. 
Let's just see what it says here. Get one of the the buffer memories. Serial customers today, a new record, just as well. Well, uh, if, if new, if zero customers is the highest you ever had, you gotta do booming business. <laughs> just, just, just as well, the morning was better spent out on the dock with my binoculars. Well, maybe customers came into the shop while you were out on the dock with binoculars. Did you think of that? More and more ships passing, heading south. What will they find on the mainland? I wonder. A warmer welcome? Not likely. Well, no comment. <laughs> Twelve minutes. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab that. We don't need to cook anything else, so um, we'll just leave that. Let's make some more arrows. Just until the war ends, pretty much. We'll just keep making arrows. We have enough for quite a few. We have a cabin fear risk, which is a little bit annoying. Ah, crow, we ran out of crow feathers. Okay. Well, I had more of them, but I guess not. Put these in here. Uh, put the guts next to it here. Getting a bit thirsty. Turn the radio. Nice music. Now, let's see here. Put the arrow shafts in here. And the arrow heads. Uh, I would like to repair this, but I need some scrap for that. Uh, we don't need the hammer. Oh, I should have actually left the hammer in the forge. Oh, well. A bit late for that now. We have food. Actually, let's go outside. Leave some of this food outside. Let's leave. No bear around, is there? Got nine hours now, much, much better. Ten hours, actually, because the one is... One is uh, on the bow. Alright. It is cool, the arrow, I must say. Okay, so let's see here. Um, eat this. And then drink this. And let's have a look here. Uh, uh, actually, let's repair this first. Before I forget. At least a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Let's sleep for 10 hours. We don't really need sleep for 10 hours, but I want to sleep as long as possible because cabin fever is going to set in. Probably wake up with cabin fever, actually. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, let's eat another one of these. Go. Let's have a quick look outside the cabin fever. Yeah. Let's just quickly see if the moose is here. The moose can spawn here without warning. It calls the highway only has one moose location, which is over. Oh, yeah, there it is. It spawned just now. Okay, well, then we need to do this first. Now, the moose can only be killed by a damage. It won't die to um, the bleeds. However, this is quite an easy moose because you got all these cars. So if you don't kill it, you can just hop into the car. So, this is an easy one. See? Easy as that. Normally, you have to really think about your positioning. You need to have a way out. You need to be able to retreat if the, um, if the moose gets too close. But in this case, you just got the car here. So you can just, even now, what you can do is you can get the moose to aggro you, and then you run to the car. Let's see. Uh, the car by the, 
the garage is the best, actually. So come here, Moose. You see me, right? Hey, Moose. And one more hour should take him down, but I'm going to try and kill him by the garage. Yeah, Moose, Moose, Moose. There you go. Okay, come here, Moose. Oh, did he not charge me? No. Okay, well, let's get him to charge me. I want him to come to the car. Hey, Moose. Hey. Okay, come here. There we go. If I hadn't killed it, then I could have just gone in here. Waited for him to leave. Go back out, shoot him. And this is a fantastic location. It, it, even more perfect will be over here because it's by a covered, but what are you going to do? But now we have the moose as well. And now we can level up cooking, we can level up, we can get the moose hide satchel. And I knew that third arrow was going to kill him. Well, it wasn't guaranteed, but it was very, very likely because as you can see, the moose has three arrows in his head. Okay, so a moose can die with one hit to the head with an arrow, even with archery level one. However, that depends on whether you roll a critical hit when you shoot. And the higher your archery skill, the, the high, more likely it is that you do a critical hit. Okay. But, generally speaking, if you hit a moose or a bear in the head three times, then they always die. Uh, I've never seen it not happen. So if you are fighting a moose and you hit him in the head three times, they, they tend to always go down with the third hit. It's just, it does too much damage or something. Same applies to bears. So in this case, I could tell that I had hit him in the head so the third arrow was very, very likely to take him down. But, you know, I could have missed still. I could have missed, so I wanted to be sure. Okay. Uh, there's a third arrow which I can't see. But instead of clicking on the arrows, uh, I can click... Actually, this is a cool image, isn't it? I think, I think Scruffy is um, a cooler image for this video. But anyway, instead of clicking on the arrows, I can click on the carcass. And then it gives me my arrows. And it gave me three arrows. Okay. Okay, so we are going to drop this because I don't want to attract too many wolves. <clears throat> uh, so put this here. How are we doing with wood? We don't have much wood. What we're going to do is we're going to harvest it while we are not too cold. So let's see. I'm going to use this as protection if I can. It's late in the day, it's minus six, not the worst. Yeah, okay. We'll harvest a little bit of this. Use the knife. Get like two kilos or something. Go from there. Still minus six. How does the moose meat look? The moose meat looks the same as before, so they haven't actually changed this meat. Looks the same as before. Okay. I, say, I, hate being cold. I am I'm going really to get some wood. The wind died. Okay, so now it's actually warm enough outside. So I don't need a fire. So I'm going to quarter this guy. I'm going to use the hacksaw for that. So let me get the moose side. Okay, I'm getting cold, but... Okay, there we go. Take all of this, because the moose hide takes a while to cure. So I'm going to put that in here first. I'm going to cook as much as I can out here, though. I'm not sure. Because I want to get rid of cabin fever. But while we cook... Do I, if I don't we're going to put soon. this down. And this. And there we are. Nice. We got a lot of food now. All right, so let's just do this. We're gonna move this over here where there's more cover from the wind. And then start cooking it here. And hopefully the wind won't 
turn too much. You can also do like this, it's a little bit faster. God, yeah. Freezing. Likely faster that way. Gonna attract wolves for miles. Maybe even the bear, but we're gonna be careful about that. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. We're gonna hope that this does not... Uh, let's get some tinder first. <laughs> Hopefully the wind will not blow this out. I will put it like here, because here I think it's protected that way, that way from the car. And there, so here is the best, yeah, I think that's the best place. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Start this fire and start the cooking. Then we can get the Moosite Satchel pretty quick, which is fantastic. Why didn't that okay, work? that didn't work. I'm gonna use Accelerant, I think. Make sure I can light this fire. Get some more Tinder later. Put a few of these on. That's that. Uh, put these down for slightly faster cooking. And that, there we go. Okay, so while that's doing that, we're gonna harvest these. Takes about an hour, which is fine. It takes about an hour to cook that stuff. Yeah, the and that's oh, done. Awesome. Repeat. And repeat again. Actually, eat one of these. Yeah, it takes 58 minutes, and housing this with the higher hacksaw takes an hour and five. Oh, it's not windy, is it? No, it's just burning out. Yeah, at this stage in the game, the fire starting isn't high enough. 47, that's okay, it's still pretty good. Or a drink also. Rinse and repeat. I'm gonna cook as much of this as we can. A lot of meat on this moose. To keep us well fed for a long, long time, and we don't have to worry about parasite risk either. At least not as long as we have this as a base. If you're wondering how I'm dropping all the meat so fast, by the way, some people have asked me that in the past, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, it's just me clicking the button 3 on my keyboard. The button number 3 is, uh, is the shortcut for decoy. Decoys don't really work in the game anymore, like, not really. Uh, but they still drop the meat and guts and things. Okay, we actually need some more wood soon. Let's do this first, though. Alright, so this is going great. And we're getting rid of cabin fever as well, because we're outdoors. This might blow out the fire. Uh, at the moment, I think we're protected. The wind is coming from this way. I think we are protected, yes. Okay, let's get uh, some wood. It takes too long. It's something a bit more accessible, like these. Okay, 
get some more wood. Uh, 50. Oh, massive. That's like way too long. I think we need to go inside, probably. Yeah. 50 minutes. I'm gonna have to break down a crate in here instead, at least for now. Uh, although, it might not be possible because it's too dark. I think with hands is an hour and a half. Yeah, it's a bit too long. So we'll make do what we have then. We'll make do. Maybe break it down. Um, we can read how much wood I have. Not that much, actually. I think if I wait for this, let's go grab a book. We finish. And I cooked them the normal way. I think maybe it'll be enough. We can try. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so let's see here. 37. So that should be 23 minutes over. Okay, we should be able to do that. So if we take these off now, and then do that. And this. And then while that's cooking, we can break down this. Lizards! Three minutes still burned, wow. That's a bit buggy. But it is protected, see? Cabin fever has gone. For now. And let's just read this. Oh, I think it... Mm yeah, the wind changed. Why are you out there, Wolfie? There you are. Come here. Uh, what's going on? with the... Where's my arrow? Broken arrow. Uh, let's see here. This is, that's protected. Still minus 30 though. Let's eat this. I'll harvest the wolf in the morning. That got cooked. This didn't. Let's just sleep. We don't have to sleep the whole whole thing. But let's just sleep here for a bit. We might cook the rest of it later. We have probably enough for now. Let's sleep like six hours or something. What happened there? What was that? Sound like something got ripped. You hear that? Like, like it ripped something. What's that about? 
What? Oh, they must have been low condition. Ah. From the wolf attack. I just didn't look. Oh, I see. Well, fortunately, this is why we keep backups. See? Well, first things first. Let's go outside. We're going to do a little sit rep here. Okay, we still have a blizzard out here, but it's not as bad. So, we're going to harvest this wolf. Grab this as well. And this. Now I'm also going to uh, break some metal down. I think we'll break down anything small I can break down like uh, this we can break. It's not really small, but break this down. Okay, so now I want to do a few sit rep things. Let's take the cloth out. Doing stuff to repair. Let's harvest our stuff and our arrows, but we're going to do that outdoors, not in here. Oh wait, I forgot to drop the pelt. If we get a fourth wolf, we can also make the wolf coat. Okay. Now. Let's sort some things out. We'll do it outdoors to minimize the cabin uh, fever risk. Let's eat the... Uh, Eat these because they these give less calories, but they weigh the same as moose meat. Might as well eat those because then moose meat can be used for traveling. Have uh, a drink. Should have even more water, really. Okay, we're, we're warm in here, so we're going to organize ourselves a bit. Put these on. And uh, oh, my jeans got ruined too. Mm. Wait, where are my jeans? I don't have any jeans on me. Must have despawned or something, I don't know. Start by harvesting these. Guess we need to make trousers then. Okay, now I want to do a couple of things. Harvest this. I want to repair my some tools. So let's repair our hacksaw. Getting low in condition. We have another hacksaw though, but still. Do it again. Another wolf that might kill that. Just have four wolves. Let's also repair this. Alright, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Good enough. And let's start repairing clothing as well. Before it gets too dark at least. Try one more time. There we go. It's, now it's too dark probably to harvest this. We have way more cloth by just grabbing curtains and things, so we don't really need to worry about it. Uh, I don't think I have enough light for that. Okay, let's uh, harvest, not harvest, organize this meat a little bit. Okay, so pick up all this stuff here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, me too. Okay, so over here we're gonna have a wolf meat pile that's raw. But they have changed it. This looks slightly different now, yeah. Wolf meat. And then Here we'll put the cooked, no, the uncooked meat of this. And over here we'll put our other meat. There we are, so that's a bit more organized now. Hey okay, Wolfie, I can hear you. There you are. Alright, let's get him on a bit of an easier slope. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay. 
Are you coming or what? Hey, Wolfie. There you go. What's going on with you, huh? Hey! Okay. A bit cold, though, that's okay. I just want this. That's the main thing I want. There we go. The rest is not that important. Go inside with this. I think we'll also sleep here as well. Let's grab four of these. Starting to and I need to make trousers. I need to get more deer. So I can make deer pants. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then we can also go here. Let's harvest our arrow. We'll make more arrows later. We killed like quite a bit of stuff with these, so that's fine. Put all of this stuff in there. Uh, we don't need this many, I just carried it around for some mapping here and there. Um, yes, this is fine. Did I finish reading this book? I think I did, right? No, but we can finish that later. Uh, we'll put this in here. We do need to make some repairs, so let's do that in the morning. Okay, I think that's good enough. So let's go and sleep. Let's have a drink. And we'll sleep for as long as we can. Then we'll repair. And then, yeah, what's missing is really the, the pants got ruined. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's eat. Doesn't matter if we're a bit thirsty, that can wait. Let's repair this first of all. So we're only able two, so the chance of success is a little bit higher. Okay. These gloves are terrible, but we'll uh, keep them for now. A normal interloper, I would have put more effort into rabbits and things at this point. And I think that's about it. Uh, the rest can wait to be repaired. We have plus 13, so that's okay. We need to get this. <laughs> uh, let's put that in here then. With the feathers, we can make actually two more arrows. Uh, maybe we should just do that. Uh, just to have it, actually. Two more arrows. Water. There we go. Let me put this back. All right. And then we can eat uh, this one. Need a bit more water. Well, that's okay. And let's save this. And I think, my fellow survivors, that is enough for this. There we are. So, fellow survivors, that was uh, an interloper run that went quite well, despite not knowing where anything is. So I didn't know where any hammers, hacks, or anything were. But once I found the hammer, in this case, the hammer was in the barn, I believe, right? So, yeah, it was in the barn. And by all means, if you saw something else that I missed, just let me know. Found some matches, like barn, rural store, the coastal house, like pier. oh yeah, that one, yeah. Lighthouse, Hibernia. The stims were at the same place as before, except for the one in the Cinder Hills mine. That wasn't there. And the Mackinac, that was uh, very, very good. I think that was random, though. Um, can opener was in the farm, like it always is. So that's interesting. The Hacksaw was in the community hall, as well as 
Um, well, actually, it was outside the community hall, wasn't it? And one was in the garage. But that hammer is the most important thing. The hacksaw, you can manage without the hacksaw. You, you can manage. But you really need the hammer ASAP. So it's really, when you spawn an interloper, it's really a question of just getting the hammer as soon as possible. Of course, you don't know where it is. And if there's some randomness to it, it's going to take a lot longer. But this was an interesting one, though. Once I found the hammer, it wasn't too bad. Um, if I hadn't found this hammer, I probably would have still done what I did so far this video. Except I probably would not have gone to Desolation Point. Because you usually will not find hammers in regions that have a forge. Although they may have changed that. But if I hadn't found this, I may still have gone to Coastal Highway. But then I would have gone to to Mystery Lake after, I think. And then started looting some more. Until I found the hammer and then gone from there. Or maybe I would have gone to Tim Wolf Mountain or something, I don't know. Once you had it, I, once I had the hammer, it was more or less like any other interloper run. Although it was nice to find mementos and things too. Um, that was quite cool. And we did quite well, we're on day 14, 14 days in. And we killed a moose, a bear, four wolves, and a deer. That's pretty good. And uh, cooking level, level 3, harvesting is almost 3, archery 2, mending 2. Yeah, this is going pretty well. We have a lot of food. We got everything now, really, but we, we lost our pants. So this the next thing to do will be just really... This is effectively our main base for now, because we don't really need to go to Mystery Lake and set up a base there and trap us or something. So the next step from here would be probably to secure more resources, kill more bears, more deer, start making these pants especially, um, and also craft the these things and this. However, what probably would be smartest to do here would be to kill a few bears uh, and put the hides to cure. And while the bears are curing, which takes 12 days, it takes a long time, while it's curing, we go to Tim Wolf Mountain and get the summit stuff and make sure that, that you get some good loot there and then head back or something. Because then by the time you get back, you will have cured. So that's probably the smartest. But anyway, uh, that was quite a quite a fun run. I could continue this run. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if you'd like me to continue it. However, I am planning to make a new main run that is going to be like survive 500 days. And I think that uh, it's better to start afresh to do that, like a proper series rather than this. Uh, but I might return to this run. We'll see. You can let me know what you think. In either case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was fun to loot and get some different gear. We took down a bear. We fought Scruffy. <laughs> Scruffy's probably still alive because he was hitting with the hammer. So uh, that was quite an adventure. And then the moose right at the end. And we got everything we need. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Or rather, not episode. But this video of an interloper. Uh, not really an interloper walkthrough as such, but rather an interloper playthrough because I didn't know all the loot uh, areas. But other than that, I more or less everything is the same. Uh, if you're watching this in the in the in like mid 2023 or something, then probably they may have changed the animal spawn locations by now. But that doesn't really make a difference for the most part. I didn't really go out to hunt specific animals except for maybe this moose. So I don't know. I think it would be the same. So yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, survivors, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.